What? I love it. I love it. I love when games talk. Man, we are playing Super Nintendo Dennis the Menace. Uh, based off what? The 1993 film? That does still seem a little loud, doesn't it? Let's do that. And, um, I think I hate this game. Pretty sure I hate it. It's a crazy game. So this is how it starts. No story, no instructions, no nothing. It's, uh, it doesn't look terrible, but it sure as hell doesn't look good, does it? My default weapon is a water gun that does nothing. Nothing at all. That's not true. I can freeze mice. This thing right here is a weapon. Now I have a slingshot. The slingshot does stuff. Why do I have to pick up my weapons? I don't know. Okay? This is the only stage in which you have to pick up weapons. If you didn't know you had to do it, you wouldn't even be looking for them. And why would you think that in a game like this, you have to find your own weapons? But, that's what we gotta do. So that's what we're gonna do. We are gonna go to the basement, first and foremost. And we are going to get a pea shooter because this little gun sucks. You may have noticed um, a lot of enemies. A lot of enemies. Bowling balls, records. Things hurt you all the time. So uh, you have to kind of take the game a little bit slow. I've gotten pretty used to it. I've had to play it a lot. Not necessarily by my own choosing. But I've done it. So that's, uh, that's what we're going to do. So here's how the game works. If you look in the bottom left, you will... Oh, man. Doors. Doors in old school video games work so well. I'm playing Scooby-Doo, and man, the doors are immaculate in that game. You can't walk past one without going inside. Um, anyways, if you look at the bottom left... You will notice that there's like a big coin with my face on it, and it says time zero. That's a big coin. I gotta find four of those, and then find the exit. Motherfucker! Fuck you, Bat! Fuck you! Um, yeah, enemies are crazy weird. They, they just... Follow... Ugh, shitty patterns. And jumps are long. That's another aspect. That I forgot to mention. Um, I forgot. Let me finish my original point. So the bottom right corner, big coins. Okay, big coins. I gotta find four of them, and then I gotta find the exit coin to beat the stage. Um, so it's kind of like a maze. There are a lot of enemies. They're just fucking everywhere, and every single jump is like fuck. It's super long. It's super annoying. A lot of run jumps. Got to go to the edge. And then jump. It's pretty close. Um, which is baffling to me. It's Dennis the Menace. So it, I feel like the skill, the challenge level, does not match the game itself. You know, the, nobody's buying a Dennis the Menace game because they were looking for a challenge. It's Dennis the Menace, not Ninja Gaiden. But I think if the game was uh, was skinned differently, it's not a bad game otherwise. The controls are good, the graphics are good. Fucking god damn it. Fuck, it just sucks. It's just boring. It's just this. You just walk, and then you get hit, and then you walk, and then you get hit, and then you have to kill shit. Always killing shit. How many fucking mice does there need to be? And a goddamn cat. And why? Who made this game? Why did they put so many goddamn enemies in it? Fuck. That's how I really feel about it. Don't judge me. Ah, oh, Jesus. Yay. Ugh. And this is nothing. Um, this is Mr. Wilson's house. This stage is fucking bullshit. That's what it is. The whole fucking game is bullshit. So, if I hit the bumpers left and right, I can scroll the screen. See what I mean? So I can see further ahead. And that's really what you're supposed to do, so that you can see if there's an enemy over the jump. Like that. Fuck! 
Okay, we're gonna damage boost up. Because fuck that, dude. Just fuck that nonsense. Get him. Get him. Ah, oh, god damn it, dude. Everything. Everything is just. You have to, like, really creep with this strange pattern. Um. I'm trying to rush through the game a little bit because I've been playing it a lot. I don't know how you get up there. I don't know what that's about. I assume maybe I can damage boost off the bat. Not sure. Anyways, you have to play the game very slowly. And uh, I'm going to struggle to do that. Because of the amount of enemies. It's also very difficult to talk and play this game. Like, I've completely lost track of what I was saying. I think I was describing how the game works. Maybe in the bottom right corner, uh, there is... There are small coins. They're just points. I'm gonna collect as many of them as I can, because... Fuck it, yeah, they're in the game. I'm gonna grab them. And that piece of candy that I just picked up, that's a piece of candy, refills all of my life. It refills my courage. And my courage is in the top right hand corner next to what looks like a flashlight. That's my weapon. And then there's the timer. Oh, the timer is a great one. So I have 640 seconds left. But if I die, that timer doesn't reset. It just keeps going. That's it. If that timer runs out, it's game over. Now I can continue, but it's still game over. So I have 624 seconds and 7 lives to find all 4 big coins in this stage and get to the exit. It's, it's unusual. You don't realize that. And I have, you know, I know where the coins are at. So time won't really be a huge issue for me. But if you don't know where the coins are at, it's, it's kind of a deal. You want to keep your eye on it for sure. Lives are not such a big deal. I'll usually have nine lives until I get to a later stage. There is one stage where I'm legitimately worried about dying. Uh, there's no password, no save system. So I'm going to be playing the game for like uh, three hours, I think, today. Because I can't stop and turn it off. So I'm most definitely going to take breaks. It's a very boring game, and that's probably one of its you know, other big flaws. So not only do you have to play it so slow because of the amount of enemies, it makes it boring and then it's long. It's... We're in for the long haul. But Mr. Wilson's house is probably my favorite. This is the first stage. Um, it's the, the only stage that has like, um... What the fucking balls? Fucking balls! Fuck, who's fucking records and shit? It's the only stage that uh, that has, like, a, a layout to it. You know, like, I can go to the basement. I'm on my way to the attic right now. I can check the second floor bedrooms, and then I can go downstairs to the kitchen. Uh, hold on, I'm looking for something. I'm looking. Okay, it's after this. So this is terrifying. All of the other stages are just going to be... Oh! That's Mr. Wilson. Walter Matthau is Mr. Wilson, because again, this is a movie game. Although, outside of this big head guy here. And this, you would think this fucking Jack in the Box hurt me. The Jack in the Box? The Jack in the Box don't hurt me. You gotta use it as a spring to jump up here to hit a fucking lever. And then we gotta wait. We gotta wait for this horrifying monster to go away. There we go. You gotta hit the fucking lever, right? So that you can go over here, so that you can jump onto this, so that, uh, so that you can jump from here, fuck. So that you can jump from here to here, and we're gonna go get this candy, because we're gonna collect as much stuff as we can. Mm -hmm. Look at that. So that you can go from here, so that you can jump up there, and I totally missed it, so that I can jump on that rope to get into the attic. What? How would you fucking know to do that? How did I know to do that? I've owned the game a long fucking time. Oh yeah, bullets blocked by shit. So not only was there like, oh, fucking bullshit animals everywhere. 
but sometimes I can't even shoot them. That'll be a problem later stages. Which I was saying are just a confusing mess of fuck. It's just trees. Here's a tree. Here's another tree that looks exactly like the last one. So it's just a giant fucking maze of everything looking the same. It's fucking crazy. This level, this introductory level, which almost nobody ever gets out of, is not representational of the rest of the game. I mean, kinda. The rest of the game gets, it gets worse than this, actually. Which is a real shame, because the control is good, the graphics are good, the music is, I mean, for what it is, it's good. It's good quality, I guess. It's just fucking weird for a Dennis the Menace game. It doesn't make any sense. And I think that if this game was, was skinned differently with different graphics, that I would have enjoyed it a lot more. But as Dennis the Menace, as an eight-year-old boy in overalls, walking around like in Mr. Wilson's house, I don't find the amount of enemies and the jumps and, you know, the, the challenge level appealing. It doesn't match. But if I was, say, a ninja behind enemy lines, motherfucker. Fuck. Can I go this way? I don't, I think I have to go back. I should trust my instinct. But if I was like a ninja behind enemy lines or something, then I would, the, the amount of enemies would make more sense. I would expect to play that type of game, you know? And, um, and I would, I would enjoy the challenge. If instead of killing happy little bats and mice and cats, if I was killing wolves and robots and shit, you know? It's the fact that, like, you look at it and you hear it and it's like, oh, everything's happy and wonderful. And then you play it and it's just everything wants to kill you. Everything. I'm not even really sure who the bad guy is in this game because, I mean, it's kind of Dennis. I mean, Mr. Wilson clearly doesn't want you in his house. If, if Mr. Wilson would have caught me, that would have been it. That would have been a dead life. He would have thrown me out. And here I am, I'm Dennis the Menace, and I've broken into this dude's house, and I'm stealing all of his coins. Why am I robbing Mr. Wilson? And not only am I robbing the poor guy, but I'm killing all of his pets. With the pea shooter that I made out of spare parts that I found in his fucking basement. I mean, that's some serial killer shit. Who made this game? What the fuck were they thinking? They're like, oh, let's play Dennis the Menace, and Dennis is going to break into Mr. Wilson's house and make an instrument of destruction out of spare parts in his basement and then murder all of his pets and steal all of his money. And then people were like, hell yeah. <laughs> this is like uh, the good kid or something. It's not a great Dennis the Menace game, but it's an awesome game about like a satanic child. And it gets worse. And fuck, everything hurts you. Okay, every frame of every animation hurts you. I don't feel like this mouse is a, you know, he doesn't seem like a threat. He's not. He's not attacking me, he's not lunging at me, he doesn't have sharp teeth. He's just kicking it with his cat buddy and then BAM, I shoot him in the face. That guy, you know, he meant me no harm. And I killed him. Killed him because I'm Dennis the Menace, and apparently this game was made by a fucking serial killer. Hey everybody, I just found the Zodiac Killer. You want to know who he is? He's the guy that made this game. <laughs> Can't believe I, we would have figured it out sooner if anybody would have actually played this game. And just wait. Just wait things start to come in twos, like his OCD kicks in. Oh yeah. The game gets, it's just, the design is weird. So I just realized that I haven't shown you guys any big coins, dude. I haven't been pointing out the big coins. It sucks. So, um, you go down to the basement, you get the pea shooter. You go all the way upstairs to the, to the bedroom. God, fuck. You flip the switch to get in the attic. There are two coins in the attic, one in each corner. This is the third big coin. And then I worked my way back downstairs to this first floor. 
where I'm gonna get the last two coins. And the exit is at the end. I'm almost done with this stage. I am almost done with one stage of Dennis the Menace, but don't get too excited because, uh, you know, we got a lot to go. This is the kitchen. Um, smoke animations are really long. Oh, shit. See, like, if you can see that purple smoke up there, it's a really long animation, and that's only important if you say well um, it's only uh important because any frame of the smoke animation can hurt me um usually in games there's like a few frames where like you don't get hurt you know like the first couple and the last couple but in dennis the menace if any frame of the animation touches you you get damaged so like if a tiny speck of that steam hits me always gonna take the damage it's not a huge deal here, but there's a later stage where things shoot steam a lot. And you just have to be real, wow, you just have to be real weary of... So this is the fourth coin on top of the refrigerator, and this is, this is the exit coin right here. So that's it. Stage one, Mr. Wilson's house of Dennis the Menace on the Super Nintendo. 50, 49 seconds to go. Fucking completed. Completed in the books what comes after mr wilson's house where do you guys think dennis goes next the park the park and you know what we're gonna do next time next time we're gonna play the park oh my god it's dennis the menace and it's the park it's the park look at it look at it first impression what's everybody think not too bad huh Check out the cool water thing. In the background with the little neighborhood, the sky. But, you know, this is it. Unlike Mr. Wilson's house, it's just trees and platforms and walls. And coins could be anywhere. And it's going to get just ruthless. So, I'm pretty good at knowing where the coins are at. Um, that's because I eventually broke down and made a fucking map turn this down a little bit so um you don't have to i could actually make it all the way to the end of the game without a map but sometimes i wouldn't be able to find one of the four coins and i wouldn't know which one it was it just really pissed me off having to explore so i thought it would be well worth it so we shouldn't get too lost hopefully i can find the coins and if not, I got a map. Let's check it out. Um, so this is the stage where the OCD starts to kick in. The amount of enemies is going to pop up. And uh, can't go that way. Can't go that way. Um, this platform is going to fall. If you look real close, you can see the difference. But otherwise, you totally can't tell that it's going to fall. Um, things are going to start to come in twos. Two frogs, okay? Two birds, two bunnies, two dogs. Because again, the game is made by a fucking serial killer. So his OCD's kicking in at this point, and he just, see, two fucking birds. He can't take it. He can't take not having everything in two. He's a fucking maniac. So watch out for that. It's very tricky because every time you go to make a jump, you always want to scroll the screen and check for two birds. Because they'll be there. I uh, want to go back down. I missed a coin. That's okay, we'll go back. So there's the second coin all the way up there. We're going to go back down here because this is the third coin. Technically, it's the second coin. I just missed it. I'm an idiot. Bam, with the bunny, candy, third coin, three out of four coins, we're almost done with the park, guys. That's not so bad, right? I mean, compared to Mr. Wilson's house. But what's weird is that I don't have to, like, collect my weapons, you know? In Mr. Wilson's house, I had to go looking for, for a weapon. No, I don't do that no more. I gotta kill these fucking birds. I think this guy's not a problem, but you just kill it. If there's an enemy nearby, fucking kill it. That's lesson number one. Pro tip number one for playing Dennis the Menace is kill all of the fucking animals. 
Um, so the problem is, jeez, oh, with the doors, with the doors, the bunnies, another bunny. Cause you never know, man. They'll they'll really fuck you up if you don't. If fuck. See how like they move like in these S patterns, kind of like Medusa heads in Castlevania, it, but they sit on weird levels. Um, that's sort of a. You, you might have to play it to understand that. Like that bird is low enough in the sky that he can hit me in the head, but just barely. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Dennis jumps at a weird height. And he has to be completely over something to jump on it. And it's very unnatural. It just feels wrong in the game. And because of that, all of these enemies, like that guy, he should have just come down a little lower, or he should have been a little higher. If you play it, you understand. It just feels wrong. Everything about it just feels off. Oh, Jesus. Like, you know, come on. What the fuck? Fucking assholes. Fucking assholes. But there's the fourth coin. So that's it. That's the park. That is the fucking park. Boom. Boom. Park done. So what does everybody think is going to come next? What are we going to do after the park? Where does Dennis the Menace go? And... The Park 2! The Park 2! Great! And it's a fucking auto-scroller? Okay, is that how this works? Why? Why is it an auto-scroller? Was anybody expecting this to happen? Okay, whatever. So I gotta stand on the wagon so I can jump up on the shit. Fuck these little happy squirrels. Pissing me off. Life is an issue here. Do not take too much damage. Uh, jump, shoot, kill a lot of shit. Right? Jump, shoot, kill a lot of shit. If you see one of these, go down here. Only in the auto-scrolling stages. Well, that's not true. There's another one. But whatever. Fuck you, okay? Fuck you. do 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 Man, man, man. It's intense. I'm trying to get as many coins as I can. Just, they're there, you know? You'd think that the guy put them in the game to make the game more fun, but I think he just put them in the game because he's a psychopath. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna get it. Um, these stages can be a real bitch when you first play them. Totally can. Fuck you, squirrel. Fuck you. I'm gonna shoot you in the face. In the face, I shot him with a pea shooter. Did you guys see that shit? Why is Dennis the Menace at the park killing a bunch of animals? This is what he does. He breaks into his neighbor's house, murders his pets, steals all of his money, and then goes to the park and then just kills bunny rabbits and frogs and squirrels. Dude, if that's not serial killer behavior, I don't know what is. And somebody made this game. You know, Dennis in the game might be an imaginary person, but the people that designed it were totally real. They were human beings who thought this was a good idea. We should be concerned, everybody. And they jammed it full. Like, they didn't just put a few enemies in the game. Like, oh, hell no. They packed them in here. There are just tons of birds for you to kill. But that's the end of the park. So, congratulations. Where does everybody think that I'm going to get to go next? Let's find out. The Park 3! The Park 3. Are we getting excited? Everybody glad that I'm playing this game? Are we starting to see why this game fucking sucks? And what is this? Why is there just like a bag of fucking potatoes or body parts swinging on a fucking chain? And what the fuck's up with this park anyways? Look at my own like a tree house or something? And who built a tree house that sucks this much? They're like, nah, it's cool, shit's gonna fall down and stuff, but I mean, you know, it's whatever. Can I go this way? Can I make that fucking jump? Oh, 
fuck. Fuck you, fuck you, Al. With all the dodgeballs, man, these are like old school dodgeballs. These fucking things hurt. You get hit in the face and it would just echo throughout the ping. Ping. Hated dodgeball. Yeah. Yeah, you heard me. I said it. We're gonna make the jump. I don't know where the fuck I'm going, everybody. Hold on. And I got I got my maps out here in front of me. Fuck it. I'm just not even gonna risk it. It's been a while since I played the game. I tried to do a recording and uh, it was not very good. I have a feeling that it's gonna be pretty difficult to make this a good recording. I don't really have a lot to say about it, honestly. I kind of get all of that out. Mr. Wilson's house. Now it's just this. It's going to be two hours of this, and I don't really want to ruin the surprise, but I mean, it's pretty much just going to be this. You should check it out. I'll just, you know, keep watching. Because you're, you're going to miss out on a lot of craziness. See? I, um, you know, I, I've owned this game pretty much since it came out. Um, I, uh, I rented it. I'm, I'm a huge fan of existing franchise games, right? Existing franchise games are are, uh, are genuinely terrible, but they've always striked my interest. Uh, you know, a game like Zool, I don't know who Zool is. I don't know anything about him. But, you know, if I see a game like Who Framed Roger Rabbit, like I know enough about Who Framed Roger Rabbit to start to imagine what the game might be like. I'm so curious. And then they turn out to be just terrible, I'm gonna take it. Why not? Probably should have saved it. Normally, I think I save it. Anyways, and that's okay though. You know, I like that. I like existing franchise games. I'm gonna play a lot of them. Um, so I uh, I rented this game like right when it first came out from Blockbuster, because again, I make poor decisions in life, and I don't want to go up there. Not yet. Not yet. And uh, I it sucked. Right? I couldn't even get out of Mr. Wilson's house. I had no idea what to do. Maybe I do want to go up there. I think I do. And then I want to go back. I want to go back. I want to go this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the game sucked. I couldn't get out of Mr. Wilson's house. I returned the game. I put it in the Dropbox and go about my business. Um, long story short, the game went in the Dropbox, but it fell behind the shelf. It went behind the box and the wall. So Blockbuster couldn't find the game. So they told me that I had to purchase a new game. So I did. I bought them a new copy of Dennis the Menace. I purchased the copy, I gave it to them, and then about a week after I gave them the game, they called and told me that they had found my copy behind the box. You know, they're like, oh, it got stuck behind the box in the wall. We found it. So they gave me back the game that I bought for them. You know, I bought them a copy of Dennis the Menace to replace it. Instead of them giving me money, because they're a billion dollar company at the time. They just gave me the game back, which I don't necessarily blame them. It's a smart business move, really. I mean, come on. But, you know, whatever. It's still pretty shitty. So they gave me the game back, and then that's it. I've owned the game ever since. Uh, and it was notoriously shitty. I mean, I don't think until about a month ago, I had never seen past Mr. Wilson's house. Ever. People would come over, and they would play it, and nobody would get past Mr. Wilson's house. I don't think any of us knew we could use the jack-in-the-box as a spring. Which is weird that the jack-in-the-box is a spring because there's an actual spring item in the game. Oh, fuck. Fucking balls. Fucking, fucking balls. See? I missed a coin. The fuck did I miss a coin? I missed... Missed. I don't know. I don't know what I missed, everybody. There it is. There it is. I thought I got that one first. Did I not get that one, everybody? <laughs> Apparently, I did not. So, anyways. Anyways. Terrible game. It's an accomplishment, though, now that I can beat it. I'm going to be pretty stoked. I'm going to be stoked that I never have to play it again. Which is a real shame. Again, if it was ninjas and robot dogs and shit, it would be awesome. 
It would be so cool. It would be an accomplishment to sit through and have the patience to be a ninja, to make the difficult jumps or avoid the enemies. This is why I should have left that fucking piece of candy, because I got to go all the way back there. That's what I did wrong. That's what I did wrong, yo. That's it. Now I got to get through the whole goddamn stage without getting hit twice. Because I can have no hearts. That's the thing. But I got to get over there first. Two birds. Always watch for the two birds. Fuck. Don't fall off the edge, but you're going to fall off the edge a lot because there's a lot of edges. And it's ruthless, dude. If you get hit, you fall straight down. And see, the candy would have been right there. Right where I needed it, when I needed it. Falls are ruthless, dude. And later stages, I mean, you'll like, just you'll fall so far. It'll just piss you off so much. You're like, God damn. It's a punishment. This game punishes you for making mistakes. So, be careful. Play slow. Scroll the screen. Kill the enemies. Take your time. Be meticulous. And that's cool. That That's not necessarily a bad... Whoa. 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 Holy shit. Fuck. Ah, okay. I'm using the invincibility. I'm going. I'm going. Okay. Check for the two birds. Didn't mean to stand on it, but I did. And we did it. Fuck yeah. So, where does everybody think that Dennis the Menace gets to go next? After the Park 3, where do you think you get to move on to? If you said the Park 4, congratulations. Because we're never going to get out of the park. That's not entirely true, but holy shit. Another fucking park level. Another one. It just doesn't end. And it's a maze. All of these look the same. All of the trees look the same. The only difference is that the sky in the background, that super dope background, by the way, with the mountains and the houses and the water, the sky is going to get red. That's it. It's going to get red with the blood of the animals that I have murdered throughout the day. I don't even know if I wanted to be over there. I just went over there. Because I do what I want. Because I'm my own man. I'm an adult and I don't need you to tell me what I can and can't do. Okay? So I'm going to look at that. Did you guys see the clusterfuck of animals that was up there? Holy fucking balls. That's a good example of why Dennis the Menace is crazy. I mean, again, this is Dennis the Menace. You know, if you... Like I was saying, if you played meticulous and slow and you beat the game, it would be better if it was some sort of an accomplishment you know if you were like a ninja that like saved the day or something but i'm dennis the menace what am i even doing there's no story there's no nothing i'm just collecting coins it's about as generic as you can fucking get um okay so we're gonna go this way So like I was saying, I tried to do some videos before, but I was really bad at them. This is uh, only the second game that I've played and made a video for. I'm brand new to this, so I'm probably to being pretty terrible at it, huh? It's hard for me to say. I assume that I'm being terrible at it. So, okay. So I see what's happening here. We're going to get the candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. We're going to kill the bird. Uh, except now I don't really know where I'm at, I think. I'm going to start doing it like a nature documentary. And then you can watch the young boy walk over slowly to his right, where he approaches his prey. And blammo! Right in the fucking face! And then he slowly walks back to his left. Notice his blue overalls matching his white tennis shoes. The cow look in the back of his hair that says, I'm a fucking devil child. It's probably going to be really quiet when I go to edit the video. Sounds super loud right now. I don't know how the audio thing works. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't even know where the fuck I'm at. Where am I? I'm going to go in here and it's going to go down. It's going to go down. 
Do I want it to go down? The fuck? Hold on. Is there a door back here? Did I miss something, man? Am I crazy? There is. Okay. <laughs> That's my dog. She's awesome. Laddie girl. It's my baby girls. Pete's upstairs sleeping. Pete's the quiet one. Where the fuck am I? Does anybody know? Ah, oh, Jesus. The fucking rabbit. So, oh, there's a coin up there. That's what I want to get. That's what I want to get. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. The two birds, the airplanes. I got a little distracted. Um, I'm going to have to cut the dog barking out if I can. So that's what happens. I don't know if it'll be in there. My dog just started barking and shit. And I want to cut it out mainly because um, I just know what it's like. Like if you have a dog and then like a doorbell rings on a TV show or something. And then your dog barks. That shit just pisses you off, doesn't it? So imagine if you're watching like a YouTube video and my dog started. Your dog's going to go crazy. And I don't, Just nah, man. I'm not going to do that to you. I'm going to try not to. And if that's what happened, I'm sorry. There's this fucking pomegranate commercial where their goddamn pomegranate ninjas show up. I fucking hate that commercial. I thought it was a Halloween commercial because the doorbell rings and then there's like pomegranate ninjas and this guy's like super nice living room or some shit. See, again, I missed a fucking coin. But no, they've been playing it for so long and every single fucking time it comes on the dog barks. Every single fucking time. Uh, where did I miss my coin? That's where I missed my coin. I bet. It's gonna fall. It's gonna be the platform. Got with the two birds. Two birds, everybody. Two birds. Kill the two birds. You don't have to jump across those. I just do. Ugh. No, go in the door. You can totally get hit coming in and out of doors. The game does not give you a break. Be weary. So anyways. Going. Killing some birds. Killing some birds. Killing some frogs. Killing some frogs. I'm not entirely sure where I'm at. Oh, there it is. That's where I thought it was going to be. Somewhere over there. Okay. Let's go. Get the fuck out of here. Do 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 So you can see what I mean. It's um it's just a big maze with all the trees. I've probably said that a lot. I went back and watched my three ninjas video that I just did. Did you guys know that I liked that game? Did I tell everybody enough that I enjoyed the game Three Ninjas? So I'm probably gonna repeat that by just standing here and for the next three hours going, Oh yeah, this game's just a big maze. It's just a big maze. God, what the fucking frog looking at the steps. Ah, and the fucking airplanes. Fuck, I'm going to beat the stage. All right? The park four, goddamn done. So now that we're done with the park four, all right, legitimately, what do you think's next? I mean, you know, four park levels, that's cool. That's just typical. Five, the park five, that's what's next. The park fucking five. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit! And it's another auto scroller. Oh man, fuck, fuck! And now I'm gonna get crushed, smashed, head smashed against the edge of the screen. That's the game. That's the game that I'm playing right now. I'm playing a Dennis the Menace game where the objective is to get your head smashed between the edge of the screen because your dog ran away from you. Fucking bag. And did you know that that bag doesn't hurt me? How weird, huh? Out of all of the shit that'll fucking kill me in this game, that bag is harmless. D fucking with the squirrels. I mean, look how happy that squirrel is. That squirrel is so happy, and then I take his life. Why? Hell yeah, he's gonna throw nuts at me. Oh, man, I'm trying to get the coins. Get the coins. Get the coins. Getting the coins. Who's getting the coins? I'm getting the coins. And I'm getting the coins because I am awesome. I am rad. Rad helicopter. That's what they call me. I'm a cop that doesn't play by the rules. Oh, fucking balls. Fuck. 
Fuck. Fuck. I don't know. I think I have to start all over. I'm not sure. That is the beginning of the fucking thing. Yeah, I believe so. Because that's how the game is. So I'm going to, you know, try to concentrate a little better. Really don't want to die a lot here. We don't want to make this video any longer than it has to be. Does everybody agree? Are we kind of over Dennis the Menace yet? Because I'm fucking over it. I was over it the moment I turned the fucking thing on. No password, no saves, no continues. Like, I can't... Oh, well, there are continues. But, I mean, I can't turn the game off. I can't take a break. I have to continue to play this. And it's just not... Everything about the game is well made. It's just not any fun to play. It's just so... Ugh. I have no words for it. I mean, I got a lot of words for it. I, I don't know, man. I... I want to praise it in a weird sort of way. The concept about it is good. It doesn't make sense. Like, why am I finding four big coins to get to an exit coin? Like, in Dennis the Menace's universe, where he exists, how does that make any sense? Like, wouldn't it be better if I was a ninja and I had to find four keys and then get to a big locked door? Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck. Fuck. Ah, oh, Jesus fucking shit. <sighs> Maybe I should just stop talking and just concentrate on the fucking level. Okay, because it's really not this hard. But anyways, that would make for a really boring video, wouldn't it? it it's, it's, so again, with the keys, it just doesn't make any sense. You know, that you just find four coins and then go. So it's not a bad mechanic, it's just... They need better graphics. They need a better design layout. They need a better plot or something. I don't know how you would describe that. I need to be fighting enemies instead of like these little balls. Like I need to be fighting like big mace balls with spikes on them or something. You know? Something cool. The music's good. Can you guys hear the music? I would turn it up, but I'm kind of in the middle of a thingy thing. Fuck! See? I went to turn up the goddamn music. Oh my god. I, that's my punishment. My punishment for taking a break from the game to do a thing. Like, oh, let me take a second to turn up the music. Instant fucking death. So I'm probably going to be quiet here for a minute, okay? I don't mean to be rude or boring. I'm probably not going to be quiet. It's awkward. It feels weird. Fucking die, squirrel. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, look at the ping pong ball. Eat it, ping pong ball. Give me the fucking coins. Give me your coins, bitch. Give me the loot. I don't give a fuck if you're pregnant. I'll take your baby rings. You're number one mom pendant. You're number one. That's why I'm not a MC. I get tongue tied and I stutter. Although I think there was a guy who wrote a song about stuttering. I am, I am, I am. I do not know you very well, but, but, but. something, something, something. Let me call, 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 call. <laughs> Anybody know what I'm talking about? I don't really know what I'm talking about, but I kind of do. Fucking bird. Fucking bird. It's the fucking bird. Are you fucking kidding me with this goddamn fucking bullshit? Why? Why is Dennis the Menace this so fucking stupidly difficult? Fuck this fucking game. Is everybody bored? Who wants to watch this? Okay? It's an auto-scroller in a fucking Dennis the Menace game. And I'm fucking dead again. Again, I'm dead. I'm not mad. I'm just annoyed at how stupid this is. <laughs> I mean, what? This is really what they thought when they made a Dennis the Menace game? It's Dennis the Menace, dude. Eight-year-olds are going to play this fucking game. Why is it like this? 
This is completely unnecessary. And why are there suddenly auto scores? And what the fuck was that? Why did I just go flying across the screen? I mean, fuck, man. Did they not know what they were making? Like, did they just skin a game that they had? I so wished I could, like, track down people that made these games. I would love to write a book. I would sit down with the programmers and the designers, and we would play the game together, and then I would just ask them, what the fuck? And then they would answer me, and I would put down their answer in a book, and I would sell it, and I would call it, what the fuck? Not WTF, literally. What the fuck? Huge. Big ass letters. It would be fascinating. I really wanted that coin, but you know what? Not gonna get it, okay? <sighs> was there a board meeting about this? They were like, well, we, we better make Dennis the Menace hard. I mean, fuck you, bird. Yeah, I fucking killed you. And you know what? I'm gonna kill your whole family, maybe. I'm totally not. You get to live. Cool. These things are good because these secret areas down here are, like, not as difficult. See? So in Mr. Wilson's stage... Okay, I had to stand on a fucking... We just gotta run. We gotta catch up. We gotta catch up. I had to stand on a, on a jack-in-the-box to spring myself up onto a ledge. But they have a spring right there. Springs exist in the game. So why didn't they just put a spring in Mr. Wilson's house? They didn't think it would make sense, but they thought Mr. Wilson, a 70-year-old man, would have a goddamn jack-in-the-box in his bedroom? They thought that made sense. The decisions, like, there's no consistency to this at all. So we're done. We're done with the park fucking, what was that, park five? I'm gonna turn the fucking music back down. Obnoxious. The park six. The park fucking six. Oh my god. It doesn't end. It doesn't end. The park six. The sky is red with the blood of the dead animals, though. You can see that the gods are either pleased or angry. Depends which side you're on. Assuming Dennis the Menace seems to be on the side of the devil, I think it pleases him. Hell is falling from the sky or something. It's starting to take over. So, um... I think I know this level pretty well. So we're gonna go... We don't want to go back. If I hit that button... That button will build a, a temporary wall that goes back. Yeah, that's totally what I want to do. Oh yeah, I totally want to do this because look, let's put a button that I got to jump on underneath a ledge. How about that? Huh? Let's hit the button, everybody. Oh cool, I totally did it. But I wasted too much time. Oh, well, let's hit the button. <laughs> All right, let's go, let's go. Run, run before another airplane comes. What's that old school movie where he runs through the cornfield from the airplane? Oh, Jesus, fuck, fuck. See what I mean? If you fall, it's a punishment, dude. The game hates you. They're like, did you make a simple mistake? Well, then you need to fall all the way to the bottom of the stage. How dare you make this simple mistake? Fuck you. Fuck. Let's put buttons under ledges to piss you off even more. For real, I'm not even trying to show you this is stupid. This is just legit being stupid right now. Fuck! How did I not hit that? Oh, are you fucking kidding me? God damn, damn bastard, son of a bitch, fucking shit cock. Hit the fucking button. Okay. We're back up here. Kill the two birds. Remember, two birds. And there is my first coin. We're going to try to collect back up on lives. It really shouldn't be that big of a deal, though. I should be able to get my lives back. And 
then uh, I believe I go in here, it takes me up here. There should be some vines to my right that I can totally climb on, but I'm not going to do that. Because why? Two bunnies. You jump and shoot a lot in this game to kill things that are coming your way. Fucking bunnies. They look like the Nestle Quick Rabbit. Doesn't he? Doesn't he look like the Nestle Quick Rabbit? And I want to go here. And then I'm going to go down here. Fucking frog. Fucking froggy frog. You frog. It's just scary trying to drop down like that. You just don't know what fucking kind of monstrosities you're going to fall into. You're going to fall into an orgy of just birds and rabbits and frogs. All tangled up, hot and sweaty, one mangled mess of bodies. Is that a bit much? If I take that too far? Maybe not far enough. You know? The rabbit seems like he might like a finger in his asshole. Who doesn't, really? You ever stick your finger in your asshole? Maybe you should try it. You know what? I'm gonna get the coins. I'm gonna sh I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm going the extra mile. Kill the frog. Kill the frog. Oh, oh! I'm gonna miss my ride. Get on the waters. Ah. Get on the waters. I don't know. The, these little coins do nothing. I think I covered that right. They're just points. I'm just gonna collect them because why not? If you're gonna play a game, might as well play the game. I say that now. Like the very next game I play, I'm gonna be like, I'm not gonna collect that stuff. Okay. Get out the way, frog. Get out the way, frog. Get out the way, frog. Biggie Smalls just got shot. Don't know. Is this where I was going? Oh, it is. I know this. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Gotta check. Gotta check. See if there's two birds over the gap. There's not two birds over the gap. So we are okay. God damn it. Do I have time? Am I gonna make it? Fuck. Is that some bullshit or what? Oh, for real? That really is some bullshit, everybody. That's why, that's why they did this. Look at that. It's not a secret area. That's not a secret area, man. That's a bug fix. Because there's no way back if I don't go this way. That dude stuck that in the game because he designed a bad level in which you could fuck yourself. And why can't I kill the fucking frog? What the fuck? God damn it. Fucking... Shit, I'm gonna get hit. Oh. I'm gonna die again. I don't know. The rabbit's probably gonna come back at the worst possible time, but we're gonna go. Stop and kill the frog. I shouldn't be able to do it if I'm uh, if I'm okay, if I'm careful. Fucking die. Oh. I mean come on. How was I supposed to know that was going to happen? Think this is safe? Think there's like a bunch of fucking animals up there? Mm, what? Ah. Oh. We having fun, everybody? Is everybody enjoying this? This is Dennis the Menace on the Super Nintendo. Hey, yo, hey. It's a delightful romp of boring aggravation and just petty fucking cheap ass shit fucking bullshit. I want to go up here. Get the fucking coin. 
Why? Why is it like this? Fuck with the planes, dude. Enough with the fucking planes. Stop dropping fucking bombs on me. It shouldn't be a punishment in a Dennis the Menace game to stand in one spot for a second. That's unnecessary. Completely. I'm probably going to fall in a cliff. Yeah, look at that. I can push fine art. Straight out of Fight Club. Jeez. Fuck with... God damn it. God fucking damn it. Fuck you, planes. Fuck you. Oh, why even ride on the ball? If the fish can hit me while I'm on the ball, why do I even need to push the ball into the water? What's even the fucking point of that? I can swim, which is surprising. Water usually kills you. Dennis the Menace is so ass backwards. The only thing that doesn't fucking kill me in this game is a big swinging bag of bodies on a chain and water, which are the two things that usually kill you in games. Fucking, cr I'm done. Jesus, the park six. It's the park six. What does everybody think's next? Okay, just take a wild fucking guess. It's a boss. You were wrong. It's not the Park 7. Take that. But look, it's just a little girl on a swing set. I mean, why? Why am I killing a little girl on a swing set? Dude, is this game not fucking psychotic? So you break into Mr. Wilson's house. You make weapons out of shit you find lying around in his basement and shit. You steal Mr. Wilson's money, and then you murder all of his pets. Then you go to the park where you spend all goddamn day, all day, killing animals. Just bunnies and frogs and rabbits, you know, birds. And then when you're done killing animals, you just murder a little girl on a swing set. Like you've got enough practice with the animals that now you're a good enough killer that you're confident you can kill a human being. So you go and kill a little girl. I mean, is that not what's happening here? Because that, that's what I'm seeing. And they're like, well, if we, you know, if we make it happy and we play happy music, it won't be disturbing. No, that just makes it more fucking disturbing. If she fucking kills me, I'm going to be so mad. She's super easy. Look, done. Done. That's the end of it. That's the end of it. So you know what? That's the end of the park, everybody. That is the end of the park. It's the boiler. It's something different. Hooray. And you know what we will do next time? Next time we will beat the boiler. Because, oh my god. Holy shit. Look at the fucking boiler. Look at that, everybody. It's made of goddamn nightmares. But next time. The park is done. Two stages. Two levels of Dennis the Menace down. Next time, we do the boiler. What's up, everybody? I am back. It is Dennis the Menace. We are doing the boiler. The boiler room. Look at this fucking place. Look at this. You think that this game can't get any more fucked up. It can't get any more demented. And what happens? After you get done killing all of Mr. Wilson's pets, and then spending an entire day in the park murdering all of the rabbits and birds you can find, you go to the boiler room made out of nightmares. And look, there's like a gas chamber, okay? What is this, like a pipe? Covered in human intestines? What am I standing on right now? What am I looking at? What the fuck is this? And what does this have to do with the movie? There is nothing in the movie that I can remember that even remotely looks like the crazy shit that I'm looking at right now. Man. And the music, even the music is getting more serious. You hear this? Ooh, ooh. No, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand for a second. We're going. We've already gotten two coins because I'm awesome. I'm sure everybody is totally excited to spend another. Okay, so the dog went nuts again. Like I said earlier, uh, I'm going to try to cut those. I know what it's like to have like a dog bark. 
when you're watching a video. If you have your own dog, he may or may not go nuts if he hears that. And that just sucks. I hate things, people, commercials, TV. We already had this conversation. Just reiterating. Uh, sorry about that. So two coins in the boiler. Uh, it's only been a couple of seconds for you guys. It's been like three minutes to me. So I don't know what I was talking about or what I was doing. Not even really sure where I'm at. But I think I got a handle on this. So we're going to see. We're going to see what's up. Ooh, piece of candy. Oh, my God. See, I got a hit. Come on, man. Unfair. Unnecessary punishment for a simple mistake. Hmm. Man, oh man. That's Pete walking around. He can't get comfortable. He came to see what all the ruckus was about, what all the hubbub was. No. Nah. There's really not anything. It's just some like little kids out front, you know? So now nah, he's sniffing. Hmm. I do enjoy the spiders. They have like these big crack eyes. They look like they're uh they've been up for like four days high on meth. I, I don't, I really like, they just seem like crazy strange to me. I kind of like them. They seem sort of happy in a weird sort of way. But uh, don't do meth. That is not what I'm advocating. Oh my god, don't go anywhere near this shit. Alright, for real, hey, look, I'm an old man, and I'm telling you, I've never heard a person ever say that the best decision that they ever made in their life was using some hardcore drug like meth or heroin. Alright, no. Nobody's ever like, oh, the best decision I ever made. Everybody's like, oh, it's the worst decision I ever made. Terrible. Don't do it. But I do like the spider because he does look like he's cracked out. So PSA, say no to drugs. I've gotten all four coins. Everything's shooting steam at me. These guys are fire monsters? Okay, so you think the water gun, right? The water gun was useless. You think it would kill the fire guys? No. No, it does not. It freezes them in place. That's it. So, don't use the water gun. There's really no purpose for it at all. I was, uh... I took a break after the park. I ate some pizza. And I was watching this thing on, on animals, man. Like a documentary. Like little kids, you know, like a polar bear about to hunt a whale or a walrus for the first time. It's some brave shit, you know, that people just don't have to go through. Like at no point in my life did I say, okay, that's it. I'm going to have to go pick a fight so I can survive. You know, like that's a, a lesson that we don't, they have to learn to just go out there and just brawl it out. It's an animal in the wild. But in society, it's completely different. You know, like if you if you fight and hurt people, like you're a monster. Just makes me realize that if I was a polar bear, I probably wouldn't survive. Probably wouldn't make it. I didn't want to hurt the walrus. So the boiler two, that's where we're at. Boiler two. You guys getting excited for what's going to happen? Oh, man. I hate the boilers. Um, it's probably the coolest looking stage. But I hate it because everything looks exactly the same. Um, again, like I was saying, unlike Mr. Wilson's house, there's really no way to tell like where I'm at in the boiler. In Mr. Wilson's house, I was in the basement or I was in the attic. But in the boiler stages, I'm just, you know by this random human intestine covered platform it means about as much to me as it does to you and I think that's a real shame I think it takes away from the game a lot you know the game needs more direction it needs more unique identifiers it needs more something anything really So it would make, it doesn't make any sense for Dennis the Menace to be here doing these things. But it especially doesn't, you know, I mean in general, but it, whatever. 
Just, you know what? I don't fucking care, okay? I'm tired of explaining this shit. I just, I can't really think of anything else to talk about because I have to concentrate on the game so much. And I have to concentrate on the game because there's a lot of enemies and a lot of really far jumps. So it's, it's difficult to have a conversation about, like, you know, polar bears while I do this. So, I hope I don't babble too much. I've tried to record this video in the past, and again, this is only the second game that I've played, so I'm, I'm really bad at this talking and playing thing. It's going to take some practice. I'm going to have to get better at it. I'm okay with that. Oh, look at that. That was lucky. That was lucky as fuck. Yeah, for those that don't know, I just made a blind leap of faith, which is a thing that you should probably never do in this game. And, uh... Not only did I not fall, I landed on a platform, but I landed exactly on top of the coin. So I now have three of the four. It is a big deal. Um, oh, Jesus, man. Fucking. Oh, well, that was real great, huh? Everybody like that? Ah, oh, are you fucking. Fuck. Yay, I jumped. I did it, everybody. I did it. I made the jump. I can do it. I'm good at video games. I don't care what you say. I'm special, and people like me. You think the fourth coin's over here? I don't know where it's at. But I bet we find it if we just believe in ourselves. Mm, it should have been. Should have been right over here, I would have thought. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Well, I found it. There's the fourth coin. <laughs> oh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Mm. Pushing the rock. I do like the smoke effect. I think it's a cool effect. I'm not sure why Dennis the Menace is in a gas-filled chamber. You know, like, this is this is really weird. This is quite disturbing. Dennis the Menace should not be in this position. And yet, here we are. So, I really don't know what to make of that. He walks with such authority. Look how, look how Dennis walks. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Like, yeah, whatever, man. I'll do whatever the fuck I want. You're not the boss of me. Fuck you. Tell me I gotta go to my room and without dinner, I'll show you. I'll run away from home. I'll become a serial killer. You gotta admire his, uh, his gusto. I like the cut of your jib, son. You see? I like the cut of your jib. What the fuck is a jib? Doesn't matter. I like the cut of it. My eyes are starting to water from staring at bullshit. Hey, what do you think's next? Oh, it's the Boiler 3. Everybody getting excited? What do you think the Boiler 3 looks like? It looks just like the Boiler 1 and 2. Go fucking figure. So, um, okay. Now we're gonna go... We're gonna go, we're gonna go. So the boiler levels are where my maps come in handy. Um, because everything looks the same, it's real easy to bypass something. So, I'm gonna keep a good eye on them to kind of keep track of where I'm at. So I believe, I don't think there's anything over here. We're gonna find out like a one-up yeah okay so we're just gonna fall we're gonna do what I should probably never do mm -hmm. yeah. steam things I mean these boiler monsters they look scary a little bit at first but like the more you look at them the cuter they get Oh, my favorite little cracked out spider. It's weird. I start to feel like we're going to hell. Like this is a uh, nightmare on Elm Street starting up. 
Oh, I need the rock. I need the rock, yo. Do you smell what the rock's cooking? It's the people's elbow. Hey, don't forget me. Don't forget me, man. I ain't slept in like four days. Oh, I'm a spider. I'm a spider, everybody. And you shoot these things. It's like a giant... Oh, man. Ball in a cup. God, by the fucking fire monsters. Shit. It's almost like the enemy placement is genius and that they put all of the enemies in exactly the right spot to hit you. But then it's almost like all oh, the enemy placement is fucked and that it's just beginner's luck or cool. Like I can't like I feel like maybe this game was made by an 80 year old guy who knew all about video games, but it never actually played one. You know, so he knew that he needed like fire monsters, but he had no idea like how they should act or where they should be placed. He knew he needed platforms, but he didn't know like, you know, how many how far apart they should be. So we just kind of stuck them everywhere. Like that. That's bullshit. You know? That probably looks like good design on paper, but it's just fucking bullshit. It's just stupid. Second coin. Two out of four. Almost done with the boiler. Boiler room, boiler, da 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 Z108.5. Um, so it looks like we're just gonna go for a while. Oh, yes. With the removable floors. I don't even know what that floor is supposed to be. Why? It's just there. It's just a thing that happens in this boiler room. Also, it's winter here. It's almost Christmas. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. As I film this. So, uh, a little stuffy. So I hope I don't, I hope I don't make too many sniffle noises because that's just gross. So have I been this way? I mean, it certainly seems like it, doesn't it? What is happening here? Okay. So... We don't want to go that way. That is how you get back. I know that. I rediscover that every single fucking time I play this game. If you want to go back across the jumps, that's how you do it. Because you can't jump on the platform. That other platform is taller. Look, whatever. I don't have to explain it to you, okay? I know what the fuck's happening, and that's what's goddamn important. Because if you're going to live in my house, you're going to live by my rules. Because I told you so is the only answer I have to give you. Right? So, do as I say, not as I do. Mother... Don't you shoot shit at me. Don't you roll your eyes at me, son. Yeah, call you by your middle name. Kyle! <laughs> Kyle's everywhere terrified. Like, holy shit, man. Fuck you, you're not my real dad. I am. I will be. Give me that lip. I'll be your stepdad by the end of the week. I see the way your mom eyeballs me, boy. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm sorry about that, everybody. I didn't mean to blow up. You know what? I love you guys. And I think when this whole Dennis the Menace thing is over, we should just get an apartment together. You know? Get to know each other. Maybe go to a sporting event. I think I want to go this way. Oh, look, and I do. Coin number four. Now we just got to find the fucking exit. Oh, and I know where the exit's at. Let it go. We got to go down here. I miss your musk. Oh, dude. the jump make the jump for a while i used to call these uh cosby jumps i don't know if that's funny anymore that's because uh you gotta strain to make the noise if you don't make the noise you won't make the really far jump that's just science okay it's one of the mysteries of the universe but if you if you grunt when you make a far jump in a video game you're gonna make it oftentimes my grunts would start to sound like bill cosby 
I'm like, oh, the coffee, oh, the jello. No muscle jello. You know, you see? <laughs> Bill Cosby. The kid started referring to rape as a hot Cosby. <laughs> Those of you that watch South Park. So I don't know if I can go down there. I don't know where the fuck I'm supposed to go. It looks like that's a ledge. Okay. Okay. Yeah, oh, I know this part. It's one of the few places these, uh... The, the slingshot comes in handy. There we go. I could see what they were going for with the weapons mechanic and stuff. It's just too complicated. It's too much for Dennis the Menace. It would have been a really cool... You know, it didn't have to be a ninja game, like robots. Like, this could have been, like, a cool commando game or something, you know? Like a predator game of some sort, or... Uh, I don't know, maybe that's a terrible example. But, you know, it's something just more high stakes. Like, the worst that happens in this game is Dennis the Menace gets scared, right? He doesn't even have life. He has courage. But then you play the game, and it's just like, Kill all of the happy animals. Go to the boiler room from hell. Become Freddy Krueger. And this is the exit. So there we go. The Boiler 3. The Boiler 3 in the books. That will be the last time, if I am lucky, that I will ever have to play The Boiler 3 in Dennis the Menace on the Super Nintendo. The Boiler 4! The Boiler 4! Boiler in the house! Oh. Uh. Okay. So, I remember this. So you can go over here. This is where your first coin's at. Now, the first coin is going to be right here, but I can keep going to the right. There is, if memory serves me, nothing over there. And then you just get to the edge, you know, and then all of those guys that I jumped over start coming at you. So it's almost like a trap. Maybe there's a coin, like a small coin or something, but don't go over there. I have to sneeze, everybody, and I can't. I lost my sneeze. I lost my sneeze, and I do not approve of that at all. That bothers me. It angers me. I enjoy my sneezing. Um, so, you know, I really want to go the other way. I just wanted to see where those platforms were going to end. So frustrating when you lose a sneeze. Sneezing feels so good. It's like a, a minor joy in life. You know, like a, a gift from the heavens. Or like, and then occasionally, if like dust or something gets in your nose, you'll just feel fantastic for a fraction of a second. It's like a mini orgasm. You're just like, oh, yeah, that was great. But then like all things, you know, the yin and the yang of the universe the dark matter sneeze comes into play. And he's like, no, you do not deserve the sneeze. You have angered the sneeze gods. Too many a booger have you wiped under an unworthy desk. And it's true. It happens to the best of us. Oh, ew. Um, really don't know where I'm going. Uh, 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 everybody, I don't know where I'm at. Starting to panic a little bit here. I, of course I don't know where I'm at. Look at this shit. Like, what am I looking at right now? So, okay. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know that was down there. I didn't know what I could do. Okay, oh, I know this. What the Cosby? Shit. Yeah, I know that. I know that. I know where I'm at. I got my bearings. Oh. 
What sucks, though, is that now it just starts me. Like, where the fuck did it just start me at? There's no flag. There's no checkpoint marker. The game just chooses a spot. So luckily for me, it's going to start me right where I died. But that's just a coincidence. Ugh. Uh, do I need this? I'm going to say I, I probably do. And I'm not sure how the checkpoints work. Like, if I had missed a coin back there... Yeah, I probably needed that. If I had missed a coin back there, you know, would like, would I still start at that checkpoint? Is it based off the fact that I went that far that I crossed that part on the map? Or is it based on the coins that I've collected? Or both? There's no indication. And there's no way to like reset it, you know, to like go back to the start. Maybe if I go back, I don't know. I should experiment more. But you know what? I'm not going to experiment more because I don't want to fucking play this game anymore. I have a strange level of respect. I I I, I will admit, um, I flip flop on the game. I hate it, then I love it, and then well, no, I never loved it. I hate it, and then I respect it, and then I hate it. I hate it right now. I'm bored. I don't want to do this. Um, where am I going? Uh, apparently, I'm not going that way. Fuck with the goddamn smoke. Okay, I guess that's how we're gonna get up there. What the fucking. <sighs> oh, see, that's what I'm talking about. With the loss, the sneeze, and all this. Those jumps, I don't know if they look intense. They most total, they definitely feel intense. It's a big deal to me. I never am happy to do a jump in this game. It's always like, oh shit. So I'm not... Oh, you got fucking bullshit, man. That's how we're doing it. We're cheating. We're going. We're going. Okay. Okay, we're making progress. Making a filter, making a filter, making a filter. What am I supposed to do with all the cigarette butts? Hey, at least you collected them. That is from Biodome. I love that movie. If you don't like Biodome, I'm not so sure we can be friends. You know, I mean, I respect your opinion all, but I just... I just, uh, I think you're an idiot. I think you have bad taste in movies. And, uh, if Biodome should just win the Oscars, it should even win a Grammy. Doesn't even make sense for Biodome to win a Grammy, but it should, because it's just that fantastic. Actually, my favorite movies are Rambo. I do really like Biodome, though. And Encino, man... Encino Man was awesome. Uh, if you guys have never seen these movies, Biodome and Encino Man are great. Encino Man's got that dude that we don't ever see in movies no more. Whatever happened to that guy? He did like Tarzan and stuff. He did, uh, was he the mummy? I mean, he wasn't the mummy, but wasn't he in the mummy films? Am I supposed to go down this way? What the fuck is happening here? Is that a dead end? Okay. I think the exit is down here. Holy shit, I think I'm at the exit. Wow, that goes by really quick. When I play this game not recording and not talking to myself, it seems to take forever. But this time, this time it seems like it wasn't such a big deal. That's it, that's the boiler four. That's good news, man, because the boiler is a really shitty stage. Probably one of the worst. Because everything looks alike, it's really easy to get lost and miss coins. I'm really glad I did that. And now, we get to fight the boss. Look, and it's a gym teacher. Why is it a, a gym teacher? I don't understand what's happening in this fucking game. So, um, a little pro tip. So, you know, pro, that's what we do. Pro tip, son. Pro tip, because everybody wants to know. This guy bounces back and forth. Um... So, like, he's going to roll over. He's going to drop a ball that I can just, like, walk off the edge. I didn't walk off the edge. This one I have to jump over. See, so like, you kind of want to squeeze in between. I'm not very good at it. But this one, I can just walk off the edge. 
Okay, then he's going to roll over. Now he's going to throw a ball that I have to jump over. See? See, that's the strategy here. Walk over it. He should bounce over. No, he's going to do that. Got to bounce. So one ball is low, one ball is high. He's a pretty easy boss once you catch that. But if you don't know what's happening at first, you're just like, what the fuck? And I don't know why, Mr. Wurr. That's it, though. That's it. Look. Whoa! What? The boiler is completed. We move on to the sewers. Congratulations. I feel like confetti should fall from the sky. And here we are. Look at the sewer. It's fantastic. Look at that. It's getting dark. This is like some dark castle, some Dracula shit. And the music is total serial killer mode. Look. Oh my god. Kill, 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 kill. Kill, 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 kill. Fucking balls. Shit in your face, mouth. Your face hole. This is the sewer levels. Um, the sewer is an intense stage. Lots and lots of platform jumping. So on one hand, we are lucky that we do not have to, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, it's, it's hard to concentrate. We don't have to search for coins too much. You know, uh, we don't have to look for them. They'll just kind of be on the way. But we do have to do lots of platform jumping. And... That is very intense um, because they are over instant death holes. Like a missed jump could be your life. Like it was real lucky I didn't die there. Real lucky. I think I can go this way now. Because I was just trying to get that coin. We're going to get that coin. We're going to get it. We're going to get all the coins. Well, no, we're not going to get them all. I don't even know where they're all at. I don't even know how many of them there are. Like, there should always be the same amount, like 50 or 100 or something. But it changes per level. And there's no indication. Like, it doesn't tell me. In the bottom right corner, it doesn't say 14 of. It's just, that's it. 14. This is really where the scrolling comes in handy with the bumpers. So that I can scroll over to see the jump and down. And those fish are real motherfuckers, dude. Fuck those fish. Okay? Sometimes they don't want to load like right away. They make you wait. Uh, you'll probably see it happen, but I'll stand on a platform and wait for a fish and no fish will show up and then I'll go to make a jump and then a fucking fish will show up and it'll hit me mid jump and I'll fucking die. And it'll aggravate the piss out of me because how long do I have to stand on the platform before the fish shows up? got the coin yeah yeah three coins so this is the stage where lives matter this is the the only stage where i'm concerned about the fact that i have nine lives i would like to keep that number high like that nine that's what we want can't have any more than that game won't let me see it's a real shame This is uh, probably the last real challenge of the game, this stage, this level of this stage. But that's number one, so three to go. And we move on to the sewers too. So it's really weird. So why was there six park levels? But now there's only four boiler levels. But there was only one Mr. Wilson level. And the park had two auto-scrolling levels. But no other stage. The boiler didn't have any auto-scrolling levels. And Mr. Wilson didn't have any auto-scrolling levels. And the sewer won't have any auto-scrolling levels. So Mr. Wilson's house, I have to find my weapons. But I don't have to find weapons in any other stage. Then the park has two extra stages... So, and they're auto-scrollers. I mean, the game is... It's like they didn't know what they were doing. They, like, they had no plan. Were there supposed to be auto-scrollers in every stage, you think? And they just didn't get around to it? Mm, it's an oddity. And why is Dennis the Menace in the sewer? Like, where exactly am I at? And where am I going? 
Like, this game needs, like, a map, like, a world map of some sort. Like, uh, like, Castlevania has the map of the castle or something. You know, ghosts and goblins, ghouls and ghosts. You know, shows you, like, where you're, like, where is Dennis the Menace at in location to his world? I mean, he started at Mr. Wilson's house and then he went to the park. Like, okay, that makes sense. The park's probably in the neighborhood. But then he's in a boiler room somewhere. Like, what? Where did that come from? And then the boiler room ends up fighting Mr. Ed, the phys ed teacher. Oh. And then he runs away to his sewer. Is this like his escape route from the police? Uh, what is it, the fugitive? It was the man with the one arm. The one armed man. He did it. You'll never catch me. With the super sweet scene where he jumps out and falls down like the big ass damn waterfall thing. Yeah, that shit's cool. That shit is dope. You should check that shit out too. Except I didn't really like that movie. I almost fell and I would have either died or gone all the way back to start. Fuck. I think lots of people did like the Fugitive movie. With like, I don't know. That old guy. From Men in Black. I'm not very good with names. It doesn't matter though. I don't have to tell you names, okay? I'm not here to, to feed you information. You wiki that shit. I am DB it. Look at that. There's the exit. Sewer 2. In the books. Done. Moving on. We are... Almost done with Dennis the Menace, I guess. We're getting closer. I'd say that's about halfway. Probably a little more. Doo -doo 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 -doo. This music is so happy. Right, this in-between music. And then... Straight serial killer. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Hold on, everybody. Hold up. Right, let's do it. The sewer. I'm sorry. Am I being really quiet? So I got distracted and now I don't know where I'm doing. I don't know where I'm at. I, uh, I had to pause the game for a minute and take care of some stuff. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. I'm filming this. Uh, I, I'm not sure if I mentioned that. I think I did. So there's there's a lot happening here. It's winter. There's people out about fuck fucking balls fucking bullshit. That's shit shit fuck Piss piss in my ass So tomorrow's Christmas Eve and uh, there's a lot going on there's a lot of things this is happening You know got to get stuff together got to check the mail waiting for packages Although the packages I'm waiting for at this point are for me I don't. I do my Christmas shopping early. I get that shit. I get that shit done with. Yo. Done with. Done witty. Isn't that the guy from the Transformers films? Was that his name? Done witty? That doesn't sound right. I thought those movies were okay. People give them a lot of shit. You know, I thought the first one was worse. I think they get better as they go on. And that the first one is the worst of the bunch. I thought the new one was bad ass, dude. So fucking cool. The new one is incredible. It's not like my favorite movie or anything, it's, but it's just like, dude, there's giant robot dinosaurs, man. Giant robot dinosaurs that breathe fire. Optimus Prime on the back of a giant robot dinosaur that breathe fire, wielding a sword. That shit is cool. That shit is great. Ten-year-old me would have shit his pants with excitement to see something that awesome. Oh, God. Man. Nightmare scenarios here. And people give him a lot of shit. They're like, oh, they're dumb movies. They're dumb. It's Transformers, okay? The whole fucking thing is dumb. All of it. Well, what's not dumb about Transformers? The part where they come from a robot planet? How about the fact that they were brought to life by a magical robot cube, okay? And then they're robots that, from an alien planet that turn into cars. For oh, That's what they do. They're just like, oh, I'm a robot and also I'm a jeep. It's fucking dumb. The whole thing's fucking stupid, but it's cool as shit. It's so awesome. 
He, at the end of the movie, he flies away on rocket boots. Rocket boots. And everybody's like, well, if he had rocket boots the whole time, why didn't he use them earlier? You know why he didn't use them earlier? Because it wasn't super fucking rad to use them earlier. It was super rad to use them at the very end to leave. He's just like, now that we have saved the day, Optimus Prime is leaving. And then he just blasts off into outer space. What? And the final scene of the movie is him orbiting around the planet Earth with rocket boots, giving a speech about how if you fuck with him, he's going to come and kick your ass. So I'm Optimus Prime. If you fuck with me, I will destroy you. How do you watch that and be like, well, that's stupid? Yeah, it was stupid. Stupid fucking cool. But I'm an optimist, you know? I try to enjoy everything. I think life is better when you enjoy stuff. I'm not gonna say that, like, the Transformers movies are, like, well-written or anything. They're not masterpieces of film. But they are pretty fucking cool to look at. He does do some pretty ridiculously cool shit. So... Right here, there's a bubble and then there's a brick. I want to use this bubble right in front of my face, right there, to time. It's going to be bubble, brick, brick, bubble. So I want to use this bubble as a timer for where the third bubble is going to be. So I want to go, I want to go, I want to go. You see how that works? Because there's one at the end of, like, the fourth stage. And uh, it's a bit trickier than that. And there's no indication. The game doesn't tell you that's how it works. You know, that's just a thing I had to figure out by dying there a lot. This game's pretty fucking hard. And I know that this game's not hard. You're just shitty at video games. Yeah, well, fuck you, okay? Fuck you and fuck your mother. This game's hard. Yeah, it's not the hardest game in the world, okay? You can do it. If anybody wants to beat this game, you know, if you sit down and play it, you'll beat it. You could just believe in yourself. You're the best around. Nothing's ever gonna keep you down. You're the best around. I was watching the Karate Kid the other day. Everybody knows the You're the Best Around song, you know? Right from the martial arts tournament montage. But I like the one where he goes on the date to the arcade. Making memories at the arcade. Hanging with my favorite girl. Taking pictures to remember the memories. Oh no, it's a bully. You can tell he's a bully because he's got a nice car. Those are, uh, you know, paraphrasing the lyrics there. But if anybody wants to use those lyrics in your next rock song, by all means. I want to write a song like that. I might do so. I probably won't. I do play the guitar, though. And uh, I don't mean to brag, but I'm okay. I am uh, I am by far not the best. I watch videos of people playing the guitar, and you, it blows my mind what kids are capable of doing. It's incredible. I am uh, I'm not that fantastic, but I'm by no means a chump. So I'm going to write a rock song about just boring shit. Things that happened to me in my day. Snooze alarm going off. Hit it again because you don't want to wake up. Alarm going off again. Hit snooze again because you still don't want to wake up. Alarm goes off again. That would be like the first 15 minutes of my rock song. is just me hitting snooze every single morning. I am not a morning person, by any means. Oh, so this is the sewer four. Is that what this is? I wasn't paying attention. Shit. I believe it is, though. Um, so this is a series of jump challenges. That's how I look at this. Uh, basically, what that means is that um, I'm going to do a series of jumps, and then I'm going to be rewarded with a coin. And then I'm going to do a series of jumps, and then I'll be rewarded with a coin. You know, and I, instead of looking at this as one big long stage, I look at it as one stage full of four individual jump challenges. Indiana Jones style. Which, now that I think of it, would be fucking awesome 
for this game. Like, this is a really bad Dennis the Menace game. But this would be fucking bullshit with that fish. Fuck that fish. This would be a really cool Indiana Jones or a Tomb Raider game. Yeah, Tomb Raider style, you know, like, as in I'm exploring temples and shit. Then it would make sense for all of the animals and all of the traps and everything being so dangerous. All of the jumps being so far away. You know? It would make way more sense if this was... This would be a cool Indiana Jones style archaeologist exploration game. And look at the background. I mean, it kind of is. They say this is a sewer, but look back there, dude. That shit goes on forever. This is a fucking sewer for the Lord of the Rings... What were they, dwarves? Where did the dwarves live? This is their sewer. There's nothing back there. It just goes on for an eternity, okay? Keep in mind, Dennis the Menace has murdered his neighbor's pets, killed animals in the park all day, then he killed a little girl, then he went to the boiler room from hell where he murdered a full-grown adult, and now he's in the sewer. The sewers of darkness. Okay, it's going real bad for Dennis, man. Shit's getting fucking serious. He's running from the cops and shit. He's an insane, psychopathic, devil child mass murderer. I just look in that background. Oh god, hope I didn't fuck that up. Cool, that was crazy. Did you guys see that shit? That was a crazy fucking ninja jump that I did. I can't believe I didn't die there. That might not be so impressive to you, but it should be. You should be blown away by my Dennis the Menace skills. Um, waiting, just waiting for the fish, waiting, waiting. So is this, okay. Is this the sewer four? This has got to be the sewer four. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I made that jump. That jumps harder than it looks. And I did it on my first try because I'm amazing. I am fantastic. I am the best. Around. We just did that song. Hey, that was my first coin. So that was my first jump challenge, right? Part one done. Moving on. Moving on to part two. Or we're gonna die. We're gonna die. Seven lives. Keep an eye on the lives. Real easy for this shit to go bad quickly. Fuck you, little tiny ninja turtle. Totally a little tiny ninja turtle. That's why they shrunk him. They're like, Ninja Turtle, never heard of it. It's a far gate, completely unlike that other movie that I've never heard of. We're gonna wait for the fish. We're gonna jump on the bubble. We're gonna go. We're gonna dodge the fish. Okay, so uh, I can't remember if it was before or after the package fiasco. If I told everybody that I was gonna say, we're going a lot. When it comes time to time these jumps, I sort of murmur outside. I murmur to myself, we're going. Right here, here. Fish, we're going. We're going. Helps me concentrate on the jump. Fucking bat. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you, Batman. I got you, ass. Superman's better than Batman. I don't care what anybody says. Superman's the shit. Batman's pretty fucking cool. But I mean, you know. Superman, yo. I feel I'm distracted. Okay, going by the bubbles. We're going. We're getting down. We're getting down. I really don't know that much, actually, about either one. There's like a bunch of comic book people that are like debating it now. And I'm just like, yeah, really? I don't know, man. I got a couple new action 52 comics. I got a... I dug the Man of Steel movie. Everybody's probably pissed. You liked Man of Steel? How did you like Man of Steel? I liked Man of Steel because that shit was fucking awesome. How did you not like Man of Steel? What are you talking about, dude? That was the coolest ending fight scene that I've ever seen in any movie. Well, there's so much destruction. Okay, well, A, it's an action movie. B, it's about superheroes. C, Superman gets thrown through buildings all the fucking time. It's a Superman staple. What? Yeah. And D, it wasn't even him. It was Zod. Zod did that shit, man. Go back and rewatch that fight. Superman is not winning the ending fight. He's getting his ass kicked. He's just getting thrown around like a ragdoll. That's the whole point of the fight. Zod is a trained warrior. Superman's just some dude. He didn't even know he was a Kryptonian like six hours ago. Z 
Zod throws Superman through buildings, not the other way around. It doesn't fucking matter, though, because it's cool as shit. And I don't want you being a naysayer, complaining, ruining. They're going to make another fucking Superman movie. What's it going to be? He's going to save cats out of a tree? Nobody wants to watch that shit. It's like going to see fucking Spider-Man and he, he throws his costume in the trash. Hey, you know what? I didn't pay $15 to watch somebody not be Spider-Man. You know what movie's about not Spider-Man? Every single movie, not Spider-Man. And now, part of Spider-Man is also not Spider-Man. Same thing with Wolverine. I went to see Wolverine and they break his claws and take away his ability to instantly heal. Why? You know what movie's about a guy that doesn't have claws and can't instantly heal? Literally every single one of them. Including Wolverine now, for some reason. Who in the fuck gets to write a movie about a guy with claws for fists and unbreakable bones with the ability to instantly heal and the first thing they think is, well, he's got to die on the operating table. We have to just nerf all of his powers and then kill him. What? No. No, you do not. What you need to do is you need to make a movie where Wolverine pulls out his fucking claws immediately and then spends the next hour and a half cutting tanks in half. I knew I was going to miss that jump when I made it. Nobody wants to watch this petty bullshit. He's not going to die. You've already told me you're going to make three more movies and he's going to be in fucking three X-Men films. His name is on the front of the movie. The movie's still going to go for like 45 minutes. Wolverine is not going to die. This isn't suspenseful. This might technically qualify as a conflict, you know, to meet your third grade writing requirements, but this is not a real conflict. Nobody watching this movie is on the edge of their seat going, is Wolverine going to pull through? Yes, he's going to pull through. It's not a conflict. A conflict is Rambo. There wasn't supposed to be any POWs. It was all a setup. He's trapped. He doesn't have any help. How can he rescue the POWs if nobody was ever actually planning on rescuing anybody? He does get kidnapped, and that whole scene takes like four minutes, two of which is Rambo making a threat. Rambo's getting tortured, and then they're like, okay, do you want to say something? And he's like, yeah, I'm your worst nightmare. I'm going to kill all of y'all. And then he does it, and everybody's like, yes. This is fantastic. This is how you make an action movie. And then you go see Wolverine and they're like, hey, look at all of these ninjas. And Wolverine's like, no. No, I'm not going to fight any of them. You think I would fight a hundred ninjas? Why would I do that? That would be fucking cool. I'm going to get shot 50 times and die. Going for it. We're going, we're going. It's my rant. That's why Fast and the Furious movies do so well. Oh, fuck. You know, because they get it. They, they totally understand that their movies are dumb. And they're, they're fine with it. They, they, they love it. They milk that aspect of it for everything it's worth. I mean, they jumped a car from building to building. That shit is so cool. So fucking cool. You know, they, they give no amounts of fuck. I mean, those movies, everybody in those movies should be dead before the credits are finished rolling in the intro. What is it? Is it Fast Five where they break uh, Dom out of jail? He's on a prison bus. He's on a prison bus, okay? No seatbelts, no airbags. You know, it's not a Greyhound even, right? No, a prison bus, like a fucking school bus. And his hands are handcuffed. His feet and his hands are handcuffed. He can't even, like, protect himself. Like, he can't even break his own fall. <laughs> And they decide to bust him out of prison by wrecking the bus he's in. The bus is on the interstate. It's on this highway going like 60-some miles an hour. And they pull in front of it and slam on the brakes and flip the bus asshole over elbows down the end. Dude, the bus just shreds. It rolls down the highway and just turns into scrap metal. He and everybody inside, fuck, would be so dead. So th that's how Fast Five starts. They're like, oh, we rescued him. Like, you rescued him. You killed him. You killed him and everybody on that bus. Also, you killed yourself because that bus just rammed into the back of your car at 70 miles an hour. Man, your brain just smashed against the front of your fucking skull and you're retarded. Now, for, if you're not dead, you're probably dead. At the very least, you have massive brain damage. Swelling and shit, skull fractures. It's bad. 
You're not just walking away from that. But, I mean, they're cool with that. They don't give a shit. They just thought it was cool to wreck a fucking bus. And it was. It's awesome to watch that bus just flip down the highway. You're like, oh, man, that's a brutal wreck. Look at that. And I enjoy that, you know. I, I, I like movies. Like I really like Gone with the Wind. I'm not just saying that, you know, because it's a known, popular, good movie. I've actually watched it. It's a good film. It's quite great. And the scene with the Civil War bodies, you know, you hear about it maybe, and, and you don't realize, but when you watch the film, it's a very... Um, it's a very gripping scene. It just, it's burned in my memory. I can picture that scene as clear as day. It's very impressive. Movies back then didn't have special effects and stuff, so they were shot on sound stages. So they're like Tarantino films in the fact that the dialogue is very, very good. You learn a lot about the characters. They couldn't do much because, you know, they were early movies. They didn't have all of that crazy technology and shit. Oh, oh, can't believe I made that. You know, so like a Tarantino film, a lot of the scenes are like just people sitting around a dinner table having a conversation. But the conversation they're having is very gripping. It's a very good movie. Uh, I forgot what I Oh, yeah. So, you know, I mean, I do like movies like that. You know, I'm not like a complete idiot. I'm not. It's not like I'm uneducated. Or I'm just like a backwards, you know, yokel that doesn't understand. Like, no, I totally understand that, that Fast and the Furious movies are not well written. They're not good in that sense. But I think it's cool that movies are a visual medium. And I think it's cool that people take advantage of that to display something that can't otherwise be seen with the human eyes. You know, like, it's neat to make impossible things and put them on screen and camera, even if the reasons are stupid. Like, wrecking the bus in, in Fast Five is, is stupid. But it's a thing that I wouldn't have otherwise been able to see. Those cars jumping from building to building in Furious 7 is something that I would never be able to see with my own eyes in real life. But I did get to see it with my own eyes because I got to watch it in a movie. And I think that's fucking cool. I think that movies, there is a place for movies like that. Mindless, visual, eye candy films are every bit as important to the film industry or the art form of making a movie as movies that are serious and touching. Schindler's List, Gone with the Wind, a Quentin Tarantino film, you know? So I don't think there's anything wrong with liking movies like Fast, you know, Furious 7 or, uh, you know, Transformers. Okay, so I gotta, I gotta stop my rant for a second. I gotta get serious here. This part really sucks. I've gotten my fourth coin. I'm on my, my exit. Bubble, brick, brick, bubble, and I gotta time this right. Plus, I got a fucking fish shooting me. I don't think I can unload him either. Oh, man, I did it. Oh, man. <laughs> what did you guys see that? <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, that's not how that was supposed to go. That was, um... Oh, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, wait a minute. Okay, now we're gonna go. Now we're gonna go. We're gonna do it now. So, I can get up. Look at this. But why? Why is this up here? There's nothing up here. There's nowhere to go. I don't know. Looks, maybe. I, I don't know. I don't fucking understand, dude. I'm telling you, the guy that made the game was kind of crazy. He was a crazy fucking person. So he did crazy fucking shit like that. Uh, okay, so we are on the way to the exit. So, I don't know. Like I was saying, some movies can be visually pleasing, though, and also be good. 2001 Space Odyssey is one of my favorite films. It's gorgeous to look at. Absolutely every frame of that movie. Fuck. Six lives. Absolutely every frame of that movie is gorgeous. Kubrick was really good about that. And if you've never seen uh, 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 Dr. Strangelove, everybody should watch Dr. Strangelove. I thought that it was going to be like a serious film. You know? I, it's a comedy. I was not aware of that. I feel dumb. People are just, you didn't know it was a comedy? You're a fucking idiot. Yeah, well, I am, okay? I didn't know everything. Um, but it's it's funny. Still today, it's funny. Oh, man. Woo. Woo. Oh. Did, did you guys see that? That was almost my death. I mean, you see all these fucking fish? Did you see what was happening there? A bit crazy, isn't it? It's a bit much, really. Um, but it's still funny today. It's... 
it's not one that that's aged you know like sometimes jokes aren't relevant anymore they're just not funny or they've been played out over the years you know it was such a popular joke oh, that's okay that's okay okay i don't mind getting hit as long as i have enough time to stand up and jump what sucks is if you land on the bubble and get hit and then you don't have time to stand up you know but jokes are really popular that's the end of the stage that's the end of the stage Woo! we're done with the sewer well we gotta fight a boss No, still a very funny film. So I'm probably going to stop talking about movies, although I really do enjoy it. Because we got to kill this crazy boss. Hopefully I don't fuck this up. So those platforms in the middle, yep, they disappear. The platform that I'm standing on, sucking into the wall. Okay? So, if I stay on this side of the pillar in the center of the screen... Oh, that sucks. Tried to jump. The platform on the left will come out. If I'm on the right side of the pillar in the center of the screen, the platform on the left will move out. Otherwise, it turns around. So the idea is that I kind of want to, and then I want to stay high so that when the platforms disappear, if I jump, I have a pretty good chance of landing. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, 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 okay. Do, 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 do. I hope that I'm not fucking everything up. Again. So, oh, I jumped. I made it. I did it. That's what I'm supposed to do. And I'll land on platforms. And then I just sort of shoot him with my, 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 uh, my slingshot because it sort of flops down like a floppy dick. See, and then I can hit him. And then I can jump. And I can do that. So this is really the strategy. And then uh, if you get a little too nervous, then you have that platform over there on the left. Oh, oh. Going to miss that shot, but that's okay because I want to catch that. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, okay, okay. It's all right. Yeah, there we go. We just want to hit him as many times as we can, at least once per jump. Yeah, so that's good, that's good, that's good. His life goes down slowly. Kind of um, upsetting. But I'm confident we can beat him. And... This will be the end of the sewer. This is the worst boss in the game. This is uh, the one that I have the most, the most struggle with. I guess because it's the instant death fall. You know, if I miss... Oh, oh, shoot. Oh, got him. You know, if I miss time those, it's instant death. And, uh... That's what's scary about it. And that platform on the left is just not a very safe place to stand because it sucks into the wall at a pretty quick pace. But we're going to stand on it now. And Dennis can turn in place only if he's shooting. So that's it. That's the end of the sewer. We have defeated the mighty sewer. And guess what? It's the woods. It's the fucking woods. I played six goddamn park levels. And I get rewarded with the last level in the game being the motherfucking woods. Are you fucking kidding me with the woods? All right. What is up? We are back. We are back. Uh, what are we doing? Dennis the Menace, we're doing the woods. We're doing the woods. So I always take, after, uh, there's no passwords, no continues to Dennis the Menace. And it's a, it's a long, boring game. So I always take a break between stages. I pause it and sort of go about my business. Uh, so it's been about, I don't know, 10 minutes for me, maybe? Uh, so... I always forget what, what I'm doing, what I was talking about, where I was at, how I was feeling. And kill bats. So, oh yeah. So that that's the reward. It's such a shitty thing. I mean, six park levels, and then you beat the game. You get all the way here to the last level, and it's the woods. It's the woods. Like if you count up each stage individually, there's like 19 stages or something like that, and 10 of them 
are the goddamn jumping on trees. It looks different, but it's the same. I mean, what? How uncreative could they be? I just don't really quite understand what the thought process was in making this game. And if I recall, I think I liked the movie uh, with Walter Matthau. I was funny. I have not seen it in a long time, though. Playing the game, it has made me want to go dig it up. I got it on VHS, and it came in one of those VHS cases that was like this big plastic. Man, Disney movies came in them a lot. And you would like... I don't really know how to explain it. It was like a big white plastic box and like the front cover and the bottom kind of drug over the edge so that you had like handles to grab a hold of to open it. I guess that's why. So like little kid fingers could get a good grip. It just felt weird. It made a weird noise. Most like adult. I, I don't know if that's the right word. It sounds like porno. I don't know what porno, v, yeah, porno VHS is. I don't know what they came in. Uh, they came in a sock. <laughs> it was too young, but you know, usually it was just like a cardboard sleeve. Are you fucking kidding me? But then my Dennis the Menace movie comes like in a big plastic. So I gotta watch my life a little bit. It's not a huge concern uh, in this fucking last level. Not just this stage, but like this whole level. But uh, I mean, it kind of is, you know. There's a lot of enemies, but I find the woods to be one of the easier stages. Um, I don't really know what it is. Maybe by the time I get here, I'm just so used to killing the enemies that it feels easier. You know, like my skill is what's improved. Or maybe it's just that, although there are more enemies, they're in better locations? I don't really know. I'm not really too concerned about beating the woods. Um, the sewer is like, to me, the last challenge. That's the last stressful moment. From here on out, it's just sort of like, yeah, okay. All right, I'm feeling all right. Yeah, getting the coin, getting the coin. Um, but I do want to keep an eye on my life. I don't want to do stupid shit like that too much. There's a piece of candy over here, though. I didn't want to grab it so soon. I wanted to wait, but we'll grab it. It's whatever. It's a nice reuse of the mountains in the background, I think. Yeah, if you remember from uh, the park level. You know, so I guess maybe we're on the other side of the mountains. Is that what happened? Dennis the Menace did like a Lord of the Rings journey. Except he went through the mountains, you know? On the other side of those mountains is my neighborhood. I've murdered every animal in those parks. Yeah. <laughs> every animal down there in those trees is dead at the hands of Dennis the Menace. That was my second coin. That was my third coin. That was my third coin. It was. It was. It would have been my second on my old route. That's right. I got routes. I'm going to speed run this game. Game's done quick. I'm going to speed run Dennis the Menace. And everybody's going to hate me. Because even if I was really good at it and I could beat it in like 30 minutes, nobody would want to watch me do it. If you don't know that, game's done quick. Uh, Google it. It happens twice a year. It's I love it. It's one of my favorites. I love watching people speedrun games. It's cool, you know, that they find glitches. That they can get that good to pull them off. Plus, I just like seeing the old games. Yeah? No. Oh, not to sound like a super old man, but when I was a kid, you know, we didn't have the internet. So, like, you couldn't just look up what a game was. You didn't even know all the games that came out. Like, there was really no way, uh, you know, you just sort of went to the store and then you just seen what games were released. I mean, there were game magazines like Nintendo Power or, uh, you know, Game something. <laughs> yeah, it was the really big thick one. It was the expensive one. 
I want to say like game fact, but that's that's internet stuff. Game Pro. Game Pro is what I'm thinking of. And uh, you know, but they didn't cover every single game ever. They just covered the pretty big ones. So you really didn't know what was going to happen, like what was going to come out. And then there was really no way to see them. I mean, you got a couple of screenshots in a magazine, but you couldn't watch a video. So it's, it's, you know, now that I'm older, it's like, damn, you know, I can. I can, I can hunt these games down and I can buy them. They're now cheap. And, and I can play them and I can see them. And I, can, I didn't even know that they made a Who Framed Roger Rabbit game. And not only did I find out that they made it, but I can watch someone play it and beat it. I actually did know they made a Who Framed Roger Rabbit game. I, I own that too. We'll probably play it. I, I think I'm going to concentrate on Super Nintendo, mostly. Uh, Super Nintendo and newer school stuff. I don't know. I go back and forth. Should I play some Genesis games as well, you know? But uh, that was the thing, though, is that, you know we didn't we didn't know, so it's it's really cool. And to watch people play those old games and then beat them and break them, like The Mask is a good example. I really liked watching last year. Some kid, uh, somebody ran The Mask. Maybe it was two years ago, and they had the developer on the phone, and the developer, you know, they got to talk to each other. The kid got to explain the bugs, like what he was doing to speed run The Mask, and the developer got to explain why in code. So I guess I can't do that. I can't jump up there. It was really cool. I thought it was great. I gotta sneeze. Wait. Man, I keep losing them. So super upsetting. Um. Oh, so this stage is pretty simple. Uh, it's only two trees. Right? There's this tree right here. This is tree one. That was far left. And this over here, this is tree two. And that over there is far right of the screen. So I'm just going to go back and forth and I'm just going to climb the top of the tree. Ugh. Ugh. Um. I move away from the mic so I can breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. I never liked Bush, not even when other people liked Bush. You know, like, I kind of liked the first album, but I was just an idiot. I didn't really know much music. You know, I went and seen him in concert with, like, oh, man, my mom really likes him. Yeah, I don't know. I can I can like so picture the band name, but I can't even begin to like explain what it would have been. Uh, anyway, some crappy alternative band. One of those bands that would sing songs about like runaway kids or something, you know, runaway train. That was a collective soul. Is that who that was? It wasn't them. I don't know, my three angels or something. <laughs> oh fucking no. Anyways. But I mean, I just, I just didn't, as I found, as I discovered more and more music, my music taste changed drastically. And very quickly, I realized that I was not a big fan of bands like, you know, Bush. Uh, no Doubt. I, I had the No Doubt CD and at the time I was like, No Doubt are awesome. But like, no, I was just, I was just confused. I was just lost. Part of me wants to say fake, but I wouldn't really call it fake because at the time it was genuine. I just didn't know any better. I just didn't fit in, you know? There was a part of me that knew that that wasn't me, but that was that was the best me that I knew at the time. That's the thing about growing up is that you learn more about yourself. And there comes a point in time where you realize who you are and that's success, you know? But it's a very difficult thing to do. Learn yourself, because you have to face your own flaws. There comes a point in time where you have to look in the mirror and just be like, I can't deny it anymore. 
I'm, I'm an asshole, I'm ugly, I'm fat, I'm whatever, you know? Before we go out there, and there's nothing wrong with any of it, it's just... If you're in denial of it, you can't really learn who you are. You know, I have a bunch of anxiety and I didn't know it, you know? So I was a coward, I mean, I was always terrified. Still am, the anxiety doesn't go away. And it's just one of those things that it's just like, until I admitted the facts, like, hey, you know what? You're scared of everything. You're kind of a coward. You're not fucking He-Man. You're the dude in the He-Man cartoon running away in the background. Right? Fucking realize that. And then I'm like, yeah, wait. I am. I, I don't want to get too deep. It's only like my fourth video. This is my second game I've ever played. And I'm like, <laughs> about to get into a philosophical debate. But I guess, I guess it is important. What the fuck else am I going to talk about? How the fuck I get up there? That's what I'm going to talk about. That's how I do it, huh? Is that how I do it, really? Is that... Is that was that supposed to happen? But, I mean, the sooner you... And realizing your flaws is not a bad thing. It's a good thing. The sooner you realize your flaws, the sooner you can fix them, is the point. You know, the moment I realized that I was scared of everything was the moment I realized that maybe, like, I had a, an issue. And then once I realized that I had anxiety, and once panic attacks started kicking in and stuff, you know, like, hey, okay, cool. You know, when I have a... Oh, I died? I wasn't paying any attention to my life. Well, that sucks. All the way at the bottom? Shit, everybody. That sucks. Okay, so that's okay. Um, it was the moment that I could realize, like, uh, sometimes I don't want to leave my house because it's, like, dark. Oh, you got to be fucking kidding me. This is what I'm talking about. You fall all the way down to the bottom, and I can't just jump back up there. No, I got to do this. I got to go around. Oh, fucking bat. Stupid fucking bat. And I can't shoot him because look at him. He's too high. Is that a good design? No, I think it's bullshit. So anyways, you know, I'll be scared to leave my house because it's like dark and it's raining. And like I'm adamant that like something bad's gonna happen. I'm gonna wreck, you know? But then because I know that I have those... Fuck! Those thoughts and stuff, then I can just write them off. Like, that's not a legitimate fear. That's not a real fear. That's an anxiety thing. I just don't want to leave the house, and I'm just looking for any excuse to justify why I should not go. I don't want to go to the party. But once I get to the party, I have a good time. And that's another thing, you know, is consciously acknowledging that. Knowing reality from falsehoods. But you can't learn that reality until you face your own faults. So do it. Look in the mirror. And now uh, fix it. If you see something wrong, fix it. That's what every single person should do. Everybody gets older, but not everybody grows up. If you want to grow up, it's like a test of manliness, you know? In modern society, we don't send you out into the woods by yourself for three days. You know, we just tell you to look in the bathroom mirror and stare at yourself for a while. What the fuck? Was that a springy thing? It was a springy thing, wasn't it? Yeah. There we go. It would be real nice if there was some indication of which one of those things were springs and which one of them were just like non-springy platforms, you know? They all look alike, though. Because, uh, I don't know. Fuck you. That's why. Motherfucking squirrel. Motherfucking squirrel throwing his motherfucking nuts. And I didn't even want to be up here, but now I'm up here. Okay? So, I don't know. To find the coins, we just sort of go back and forth, left and right, checking out the two trees. I'm missing a coin. It sucks that I died because now I don't know where I have and haven't been. Coins don't respawn, but enemies do, so I'm just sort of looking for small coins. Since there was a small coin over there, I can assume that I died somewhere around here. Now hopefully, we have not passed the fourth coin. So keep an eye out for it, and if you see it, be sure to shout and point at the screen, and I'll completely fucking ignore you. There's the fourth coin right there. I see it. I see it, everybody. Okay? I see it up there. Great. 
Fucking Blue's Clues champions. Give yourself a round of applause. Where is it? Is it over here? It's not. There it is. Yeah, I'm a grown man. But the original Blue's Clues guy, that guy was awesome. That guy was rad. I'd watch Blue's Clues. And I mean, I was an adult. I wasn't like, I wasn't even a teenager. I think I was like legit. I might have been 20 at the time. <laughs> I don't really know how old I was when Blue's Clues was on. But I was I was not a kid. I, the dude was just cool. Blue was awesome. Dogs are awesome. Dogs are the best. If you're a cat person, hey, that's cool. More power to you. Uh, I'm going to piss you off though because dogs are better than cats. <laughs> I don't know. They're, I'm a dog person, man. You got to have dogs. Man's best friend. But really, it doesn't matter. They're both pretty cool. I had a cat. I had a cat named Sam. And uh, he was super fat. We got him from the SPCA, and he was supposed to be old, you know? Like, that's what my mom wanted, because, you know, she didn't want to get, like, a kitten, because we'd be stuck with it for a long time. We'd never had a pet. Nobody in my family had had a pet. Maybe my dad had some dogs or something, but... You know, so it was like, cool, we'll get like this six-year-old cat, you know, and then we'll see how it goes. Because we were ignorant. We didn't know that that would be really sad. And uh, Sam ended up living like, I mean, he must have lived to be like 14 years old. I don't know if that's old for a cat. We were surprised. And he was super fat. He, We thought he got really sick. So we started like letting him just roam the neighborhood and we just started feeding him whatever the hell he wanted. You know, because we thought he was, he was getting old, you know. We thought his last year should be a good one. And he recovered. <laughs> Apparently roaming the neighborhood and eating just everything was exactly what that cat needed. Because he lived for like 10 more years after that. And he was so fat that his belly would drag the ground. Like the grass in the summer. Aw. Sam was awesome. I can see why people like cats. I have nothing but just the fondest memories of Sam. <laughs> and I don't really have any good stories. He just did cat shit, you know? I'd be like reading a Nintendo Power magazine and he'd come out of fucking nowhere. He'd come from downstairs into my room to lay on the fucking magazine. <laughs> you know, but he couldn't just lay down. He had to stand on it and then stick his butt in my face and then he had to paw at the pages at the top. Make sure he really fucked up the nice fine edge. Yeah, he didn't want the magazine to be in good shape. He had to just sort of rough up the corners. And then he would just lay on it. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. The exit's somewhere around here. And he was so fat. You just be like, damn it, Sam. But I could never be mad at him for it, ever. So, I don't know, man. Maybe this is like a springy guy. It's a springy guy. Okay, that's what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> so, I can see. But I've also had dogs. I got two dogs now, so I'm biased. I'm biased, everybody. I don't really hate... I don't really hate any animals. I think snakes and shit are cool. I'm a pretty positive guy, everybody. If I say I hate something, take it with a grain of salt. only the park too, isn't it? I gotta get the fuck out of here, man. This sucks. Oh. It's all the coin collecting. This is a swarm. The death didn't help. I've had to go through the level twice, so I'm almost to the exit. See, not knowing which branches are springy is really fucking me up too. It'd be way easier to figure out where I was supposed to go. Any indication, like a vine hanging off of them or, you know what I mean? They're like slightly, they have like a different colored tip. You know, like when you like, if the bark comes off a tree, it's like green on the inside and moist because the tree's all healthy and you're just killing it by tearing the bark off. Bark off? Bark off. Bark off. Bark off. the Swedish chef's cousin. Bark off. Die, fucking squirrel. Die. Let me shoot you in the face with a pea shooter. I've had enough of your shit. All of you. This whole place. This whole damn game. There's the exit. We're out. 
I like how he gives the Fonz thumbs up. Hey, hey, you beat the level. Hey, I beat the level. The Woods 3. This is, we're almost done though. There's uh, there's this, another stage, and the final boss. And then that's it. That's the end of Dennis the Menace. Stupid bat. Stupid fucking bat. Stupid fucking bat. Started making me say things I regret. Like I don't like Batman. I like Batman. I just don't like the fucking bats in these games. So I don't like anything bat related for the time being. I don't like Batman and um, uh, all those other things related to bats. Ace Ventura 2. Yeah, you could suck it too. Fuck off, white devil. I should watch that movie again. Is it a good movie? I mean, I kind of feel like it sucked. But then I think about it. When he comes out of that rhino's ass, I mean... <laughs> No way. And the, the fight scene with the with the little tribal dudes. But maybe that's it. Like maybe that's like the only funny scenes in the movie. And he does go to the party and he knocks out that old guy. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, okay. Whew, made that. That was a scary jump. I don't know. I I think maybe it was okay. It just wasn't as good as the first. Maybe that was the thing. It was a time of hype. It's hard to remember, you know, if I can trust my memories from a teenager. Like, did I really not like that movie or did I just like, was I just in a bad mood, you know? Oh, woo, Nestle Quick Rabbit trying to get fresh. Get out of my grill, son. You best get out of my grill. Back out my face. What else is like, has bats? I can't think of a single other thing. Uh, the beginning to Scooby-Doo. Had bats in it. Like the old school Scooby-Doo. Bump. 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 ba da 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 I love old school. I like cartoons. I'm, uh, I, uh, I always wanted to be an animator. But you have to be able to draw. I'm not, not that great at drawing. So, you know, that doesn't really work. I'm okay, I can doodle. I probably could have learned, but my mentality was that uh, there are other people that are just naturally better than I am, and that they too are gonna go to college and they're gonna learn. And then, you know, they're still gonna be better than me. <laughs> yeah, like, while I would be able to improve, they're also going to improve, and they're better than me already, so. Where am I going? Looking for coins. So I, I really like Tom and Jerry's my favorite, but I like old school Hanna-Barbera cartoons, Scooby-Doo's and stuff. I watch them if they're on. I like modern cartoons too, you know, like Family Guy or whatever, but I just, I think, uh, I think the Simpsons episodes were better when they were, you know, when they were like old school hand-drawn. Now they're so perfect. Everything is so fine-lined. There's no artistic art style to it. You know, there's, there's no old school animations were done on cells and if you looked you could see the shadow of the cell you know and it kind of gave it this like 3d feel it gave it this real raw how the fuck do i get back up there and is that even where i want to be i don't know we gotta go i guess we're gonna go back this way you know I, it's hard to explain you know like you would see the different the differences in colors as the cells were stacked on top of each other. You know, like both of them were colored with the same color brown, but one of those cells is like on the bottom of the stack. So the brown gets dimmed by all of the other cells stacked on top of it. So when it gets shot, although it's the same color brown as the cell on top, because it's on the bottom of the stack, it's actually darker. The light has to go through more cells, you know? And oftentimes artists try to compensate for that. They would actually color the bottom cell slightly lighter than the top cell. But it's really difficult to match it perfectly. And, you know, it's an imperfection. Um, it's why I heard Hanna-Barbera characters have collars, bow ties. Because they could animate and color the head separately from the body. 
but if the head touched the body, you would notice the difference in color, the slight difference in color, where the two cells matched. But if you broke up the head from the body with a bow tie or a collared shirt, you wouldn't notice the slight discoloration. Whoa, 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 whoa. Man. Um, you know, so it's an imperfection and like nowadays everything's done on computers so they don't have to worry about that. The color is a color. There is no cell layers. But I always thought that it gave, it gave cartoons such a, a distinct feel. Those, those imperfections are what made cartoons so beautiful. Um, you know, the lines that didn't connect. You know, the outline wasn't always a complete outline. Sometimes there would be spaces in the line work where, like, the stomach didn't quite touch the pants. But that's okay because they colored it in, you know? You would see pencil marks and stuff. You know, you could see how the artist drug his pencil across the, the, the paper. And nowadays, you know, everything's done with the computer, so it's like all of the lines are thick and even and there's no shadows. There's no colored, you know, there's no off colors. There's no... And I mean, they're still cool. That's just technology, man. Shit's just moving on, but... Scooby-Doo's... Tom and Jerry's my, my favorite. It's my absolute favorite. I really hope that music hasn't been, like, super fucking loud and annoying the whole time. Because that would be just terrible if I had to play this game again and re-record all the audio. I might just re-record all of the audio. I'm probably going to just fucking leave it because you know what? I don't think I'm going to play Dennis the Menace ever again after this. Fucking over it. Over it for real. Yeah. Oh, so like, uh, you know, Simpsons. I still think The Simpsons is funny. I still watch The Simpsons. I TiVo The Simpsons. Um, it's going to be a real shame to see it go off the air when it goes off the air. The last rumor was that they would go three more seasons and that would be like an even 30 or something like that. I mean, it's a staple. It's been on so long, you know, that I would hate to see it. I'd hate to see it go away. But, uh, you know, I think, I, I mean, I think it's not as pretty to look at. It's almost too perfect, and that really takes away from the Simpsons family. I think the, the artwork, even the bad artwork, really matched with the style of the film. They're a low-budget, kind of white trash, poor family. But they're lovable, you know? They mean well. You know, they're kind of like all of our imperfections rolled up into one dysfunctional family. And then we can all kind of laugh at ourselves and feel better. Hey, it's totally normal. It's totally okay to be an idiot. Nowadays, you know, everything's so perfect. It's so pretty. You know, it's just like, this is not. And then they try to jam cameos. There's always famous people. Stop putting famous people in. Like, you have a famous person do a, uh, a voice, but don't be a character. I'm so tired of turning on The Simpsons and seeing the Rolling Stones. Like, the literal band. No, fuck, why? Homer Simpson doesn't need to fucking go on the road with the Rolling Stones or whatever your stupid-ass fucking storyline is. Like, Homer Simpson needs to, like, go to the dentist. You know? He needs to do everyday shit. His family needs to, like, take a vacation again. He needs to stop breaking into museums and, and partying with the Rolling Stones and becoming super fucking famous. And he needs to go back to just, you know, being a fucking everyday jackass moron, dude. And the episodes where he does those, they're funny. You know, the episodes where, you know, kids are being kids. They're playing on their cell phones or they're getting bullied or Homer Simpson's, you know just trying to impress his boss or some shit like that. You know, those are the good episodes. It's the ones where they're like, oh, Homer Simpson's going to meet both Super Bowl teams and the president. And you're like, why? This is completely unnecessary. I'm going to make the jump. And that they've kind of, the, the people that write for The Simpsons now have kind of lost touch, it seems, you know, with what made The Simpsons great. And they still get it. I mean, it's still a funny show. I still, like I said, I watch it. I Tebow it. It's just... 
It's savable. It's salvageable. It could get better. You're just overthinking it. Stop overthinking it. But I mean, uh, when you've been on for like a hundred years, you're probably starting to run out of ideas of things to write about. So I could, I understand the dilemma and you know, at some point, man, all things have to come to an end. That's the impermanence of, of the universe. The impermanence of reality is that nothing can last forever. Except possibly everything. Look at that. He didn't shoot me and knock me all the way to the bottom. Um, but you know, still, it'll be sad. It's a good show. Then I, uh, you know, cost, it's cost effective to do everything with a computer. So I don't, I don't blame people for doing it. I'm glad they do. And some people do it really well. I know a lot of people really hate Teen Titans Go, but I think that's a really cool show. Yeah, I like the, the art style, the shittiness of it really plays into what the show is. And then there are shows like, uh, right now, Gumball is another cartoon. Yeah, I'm a grown man that watches cartoons, man. Don't judge me. It's not like I just sit around and watch cartoons all day. It's just if I'm going to clean the house or something, I'm more likely to put the TV on and leave it on Cartoon Network than I am, you know, ESPN or the news. I used to leave it on like CNN or MSNBC, but big news channels these days are such fucking biased bullshit. I mean, seriously, when that plane crashed and somebody literally suggested that it might be a black hole, I just knew that fucking the news was no longer intelligent. A black hole? Yeah, a black hole. That's what it was. Are you fucking kidding me? I mean... I just, just can't. It's not, I don't even have the patience for it. So, you know what I mean? When I just need background stuff, it's, it's usually a cartoon. Um... You know, Gumball's really cool. I like the way that it's it's animated and done. And cartoons are so happy these days, you know? Like, everybody's friends. They don't really... Like, they kind of give each other a hard time, but they're all, like, buddies and pals and stuff. And they deal with important things. They deal with, like, relationships and stuff. I mean, maybe, you know, maybe I was just too young to get it or too naive or whatever, you know, but I don't really remember, um, you know, Animaniacs dealing with you know, falling in love with somebody in high school. Like, is it okay? <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't think that, I don't think that's what the tick dealt with. I think the tick just fought Chairface and... My, uh, my cartoons were like Captain Planet and stuff. They taught us like environmental messages. So, um, I can go all the way to the right, but we're just gonna fuck we're gonna wait we're gonna damage boost i have a lot of life i'm doing pretty well so we're just gonna damage boost maybe there we go up on this ledge you can go all the way over to the right and then you come up on this ledge you walk up from the left you know what i mean um but i'm gonna damage boost up there i'm gonna take the hit because i've been doing well ah uh, fucking uh, who was it? Widget, the the World Watcher or something was another one of those, like protect the environment. Widget was a little too young for me. I never actually watched Widget. I watched like Earthworm Jim. I watched The Tick. The Tick is my favorite, as well as the TV show. The TV show is, man, oh, what a missed opportunity. Because the one or two seasons they have, I think, are hilarious. I love the Tick TV show. It's got uh, the dude the dude with the voice that does all of the guys with the deep voices in all of the cartoons. <laughs> the neighbor on Family Guy? It's that guy, I think. Pretty sure. He's the Tick. The Tick is a dumbass superhero. He's like a super naive, like super happy, super positive... Super strong. Yeah, he is no, he's like incredibly strong. So we just got to get to the end, man. Dude, we are almost done with Dennis the Menace, everybody. Uh, you can Netflix the tick. At least you could have. So check it out. Another thing you should watch. And Army of Darkness. If you haven't seen Army of Darkness, just go watch Army of Darkness. 
I don't really need to give you a reason. It's called Army of Darkness, so just shut the fuck up and watch it. If you don't think the name Army of Darkness sounds awesome, then, uh, you know, you should probably reevaluate what you think is awesome. That's it. This is it. The end of the woods. Stage four, everybody. This is the final boss of the game. We are about to beat Dennis the Menace. Super Nintendo. I will never again have to play this game ever after this. Assuming nothing went wrong. Oh my god, and look at that guy. So this is a homeless guy. That's what this is. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen the movie. But I believe that... A homeless guy befriends Dennis the Menace and then uh, actually uses Dennis to steal Mr. Wilson's coin collection. And uh, I've, apparently he's kidnapped my friends. So that's who those are. But in context of the game, Dennis broke into Mr. Wilson's house, uh, made a weapon out of shit he found in the basement, murdered Mr. Wilson's pets, stole off Mr. Wilson's coins, went to the park, spent an entire day killing every animal he could find in the park. When his bloodlust could no longer be matched by animals, he killed a little girl on a swing set. He then went away to the boiler room of hell because he started to go insane, and then he decided to kill a grown man. So then he escapes into the sewer, pops out in the woods, kills a bunch more animals, and then murders a hobo. Dennis the Menace! Fun family game for everybody. Um, but hey, here it is. And this is the final boss. And he is not, he's super easy. You just jump and shoot and dodge the apples. That's it. He does have, he takes a few bit of hits, but he's not, the fish is the harder boss. Well, see, he doesn't hurt you himself, so you can like run through him like that. And, you know, avoid him. Which is beneficial, but... Really, you just kind of back up a little bit. Every time you jump over an apple, kind of back up so that you have enough room to jump over the next apple. You know, just run through him when he jumps. If you time when he jumps better, you won't get hit. But I want to keep him close to me. I guess not quite yet. I want to defeat him on screen. Here we go. I got to sneeze again. Maybe I can sneeze this time. Oh, there he is. That's it. We beat the game. Listen. Is this fucking white snake? No, it's not white snake. But it should be. If it was fucking White Snake, it would be the best ending to any video game ever. Ever. But peep it. Peep the bass slide. Wait for it. Oh, I hope that picked up. Sweet bass slide. That's it. That's the end of the game. No story, no nothing. All of that shit, we've been playing this game for way too long, and the ending is an old man in a bathrobe next to three little kids, one of which who has a baby. So, the ending is just as fucked up as the entire game. I have no idea why anybody thought this would be a good Dennis the Menace game. It's way too fucking long. It's, uh, boring and shitty and awful. That being said, if it was any game other than Dennis the Menace, I would have enjoyed it a lot more. Indiana Jones or something, Tomb Raider. Not a bad game, just fucking crazy, crazy disturbingly weird. So, I don't know. I didn't look, I didn't read the programmer's name, rewind the video, find out who made it, arrest him. He's the Zodiac Killer. Until next time. <laughs>